Sorry for the jump scare. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Should have should have switched first. Uh, it's my bad. Uh, it was my bad. Shoes, no. Thank you for the twenty-two months, dude. Azagorn, thank you so much for the prime cam. Thank you for the three months, dude. I appreciate you. Give me Shelton with a big old twenty-six months. Janiri, thank you for the prime. Barker, thank you for the prime. Fat neck Stan, I appreciate these six months. Murtog, thank you for the ten months. 1647, thank you for the prime. Momo the Almighty, thank you for the prime. Bling Zero, thank you for the prime. Bone Sings, thank you for the prime. Cravenan, thank you so much for the prime. Pike, thank you for the tier one. Luke, thank you for the prime. You guys are all awesome. I appreciate you. Blade, I see a big 35 months from you. I see Winston. I see Serena, thank you for the primes. Lesser, thank you for the five months on the prime. Seinfeld, thank you for the two years. That's a big milestone. Never felt so good. Well, I, today's going to feel even better or something. Matthew, thank you for the nine months. Reed with a big 43 months. That is a mid-sub crisis. I think so. Snorry, uh, Snowy, thank you for the uh, 14 months. Is it snowy where you are? This hasn't snowed in New York yet. All right, let's get it out, though. Let's get it out, though. Manchester United. <laughs> If you're a United fan, I'm legitimately very sorry if you're a United fan. I, I, I am. Like, that sucks, right? It was bad luck to get the red card, and then you go up 2 nothing, and you're like, finally! Finally! It feels great to be... No. No. If you're, a, if you're, if you're a Manchester United fan, I do legitimately feel bad for you. Um, but, yeah, that was tough. That was tough. That, that look. Rooney Barhaj. Rooney Barhaj. Big Rooney fan, but wrong team, you know? Big Rooney fan. Soul, thank you for the five months, man. I appreciate it, Ham. Thank you for the three months. Rise, unsay, unshaken. Thank you for the five months. Thank you guys for being a part of the Hammers. Yeah, I mean, look, my life as an adult, a United fan is karma for my childhood as a United fan. Yeah, that's kind of the way you look at it. Like, when I was talking to Ben... On um on twenty good minutes last week, when I was talking to Ben, I was like, "Dude, what do you you know? How do you feel about the liver?" He's like, "Look, my whole childhood, Manchester United was beating up on us all the time." Big Daddy, thank you for the prime, and then eventually, yeah, uh, eventually that was gonna have to come to an end. Now it's come to an end in a pretty emphatic fashion. I like I like I've said, it could be worse. You could be Chelsea, right? Like Chelsea is on a whole other level of bad. You guys are still, you know, very much in the top half of the league and very much playing in Europe. You have given yourself the opportunity to lose to Copenhagen, and that is a privilege. You just beat Tottenham 4-1. Bro, it took you like 40 minutes to score on like nine people. I watched that game. It, I, I ended the stream so I could watch the second half. A win's a win. That's totally fair. But I don't think it's a, it's not a win where like you swaggered around and like destroyed Tottenham and you're like, we are so back. Like the masculine urge to shout, we are so back, right? Like that's not what happened. Sky shadowing. Thank you so much for the 11 months. Sorry, I wasn't done talking about United. So yeah, Tottenham destroyed themselves. I loved Andrew's approach to being like, let's see if you can beat an offside trap for, I don't know, like 40 minutes. Check the XG table before slandering Chelsea. That is a great example of a match where the XG table is not going to tell you the story of the game, Fanta Ray. All right, like Nicholas Jackson's XG in that match was probably 18, right? Because the dude scored three goals that I would have scored. I might have scored four if I was Nicholas Jackson in that game. I wish I was joking, right? Like, and he scored a hat trick in a Premier League game and nobody can ever take that away from him, but they can make fun of him for it. Chelsea's in a more hopeful position with the players they have. 
No, I won't disagree with you on that. Chelsea has purchased so many talented young players that it is inevitable that some of them will come good. Yes. But the XG in that game is going to be crazy high for Chelsea because Tottenham's high line strategy with nine men, which worked for an unbelievably unsettling amount of time, uh, did end up allowing some very obvious tap-ins. Um, yeah. Oh. Like, if you bet every single... Yeah, it's like betting every number on the roulette wheel. They're like, all right, Mudrick, Nicholas Jackson, Moises Casado. We're just going to throw in Kendry Paez, um, Romeo, Levia. Um, oh, yeah, let's go get Na a Noni Matawake just, you know, for gigs. Why not? That was, a gr that was a great game. That was a wild game. That was a great game. Um, I still think Tottenham is is going to be threatening for the title all season. I really liked what I saw from them. Like, just as a neutral observer, I, I thought there, there's a lot of spirit in that team all of a sudden, right? There's a lot of spirit in that team all of a sudden. Luis Diaz's father got released. I heard about that. That's obviously fantastic news. No way they are anymore. I mean, they just lost their first game of the season in, like, match day, what, 12, 11, 12? Like, yeah, they're still in the title race. Because all they have to do is go in and look like, hey, we guys, we were down to nine men, and we still, like, held them for a long time, so. But did you guys see what happened in Peru? Did you guys see what happened in Peru? Vandevin told his, uh, he tore his hammy. Is that confirmed? I thought Madison popped his Achilles, but then he got called up to England, so I guess he didn't pop his Achilles. I did. It's funny. So for those that don't know, Peruvian championship match last night. Alianza Lima against Universitario. It's the derby of the two teams in Lima. It's like this home and away playoff for the Peruvian title. And... Alianza's won the last two titles. Well, Alianza's playing at home against the rival Universitario, right? And they and and, and so Universitario wins 2-0 in the playoff. And right when the final whistle blows, they win the league. Alianza just cuts the lights off. Like the stadium lights. They just turn the lights off. I'm not kidding. I think I can show this. I don't think I'm going to get in DMCA trouble for this. So watch this. This is the ref blowing the final whistle. I'm not going to make it full screen. That just feels like I'm tempting fate there. This is the final whistle. Final whistle. Lights off. They just turned the lights off in the stadium. Like your rival wins the league on your field? Nope. But then, but then, Universitaria, all the players get their phone flashlights and start partying in the middle of the field with their phone flashlights out. You're saying this happened in Portugal too? That's amazing that this isn't the first time it happened. Because the one thing you have to think, it's actually very dangerous. It is. Because these two groups of fans don't like each other. The staff had a lot of trouble getting the fans out of the stadium. There were more, multiple scuffles between the two fan groups because it was dark. The best thing I saw about it, though, was somebody tweeted. Somebody tweeted out, like, somebody tweeted out, like, yo, I, I really want Ali Salima to, to, to drop a statement saying, like, yeah, we really care about our carbon emissions. And so... We shut the lights off to try and, you know, preserve as much power as possible and reach our carbon footprint goal. That would really complete it for me. That's why they turned the lights off. They were trying to reach their carbon footprint goal and they wanted to make, you know, they wanted to shut that off. <laughs> Dude. Just shutting the lights off? Who has the power to do that? Like, I've worked in sports and worked in stadiums before. I've worked in sports 
I, I worked for the Yankees minor league team, the Tampa Yankees, who are now the Tampa Tarpons, for a long time. We did Yankees spring training. I ran the audio boards. I was playing all the music you heard. Right. And I, 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 I knew what everybody else in the broadcast like game day production booth was doing. And I'm sitting here like, who has the power to do that? Somebody like they did it so fast. Exactly. That's why I think it was pre-planned. They did it so fast. Like you have to, there's no, there's no like light switch in the game day production booth to do that. That's somebody like in the belly of the stadium who knows exactly where the giant like, you know, like, like those things take a long time to turn on. They don't just turn on instantly. You have to like heat up the bulbs for like 30 minutes. But it being instant, they were losing because they went down early. Alian Zalima conceded like four minutes, three minutes into the game. Edison Flores, who plays the Peruvian national team, is on Universitario. He scored early. So they were losing like the whole game. And so they, he was like, but they're losing at halftime. The president's just like, we're turning the lights off. There's no way. No fiesta today, bro, chachos. Cybertan, thank you for the prime. Baseball, Dreamland, thank you for the year. Thanks for supporting the channel. Wrong sport, though. Oh, I do love baseball. Maybe that's why you were subscribing. I just, I've worked in baseball for a long time. I uh, worked in baseball for six years. I've seen more baseball than I ever cared to see. Yeah. You're saving Peru. Yeah, I'm going to start with Alian Zalima, and my, my slogan's going to be, let's try and keep the lights on. Because that means we're winning the league. That's my slogan. But Figa did the same to Porto one year ago. How? I feel like I didn't see that. I was alive a year ago. But I feel like I didn't see. Was it that immediate? Did they turn him right back on? Like, what happened? Imagine if that happened in the Premier League. Well, that's what people were, people were replying. People were replying 12 years ago. That's why I didn't know it happened. Okay. Somebody did 12 years ago, 10 years ago, a decade ago, somewhere. When I had the head maintenance person for the stadium, the only person that could access that during the game. Yeah. And guess who he works for? Whoever owns Eli Anzalima. What I, what I would prefer, what my, my preferred lore, like my own head cannon for how this happened, is that the owner of Alian Zalima was so frustrated that in a fit of rage, he was like, I wish we could just turn the lights off. And the maintenance guy happened to be in the back of the suite. And he heard that. And he had forgotten to get the guy a present for his birthday. And he's like, you know what present I could get him for his birthday? What if I just went down and turned the lights off? That's my, that's how I, that's my preferred version of events. That's what I, I want to believe happened. I honestly believe it had nothing to do with the owners. It was just an angry electrician. Yeah, like, it was, if it was a sole decision of the head groundskeeper, I mean, that's a fireable offense. The funny thing is they might not fire him because they agree with his actions, but, like, that is a fi that's a fireable offense. If you just turn the lights off. Because it is dangerous. It, it is dangerous. It's very dangerous. Manchester United wishes it could have turned the lights off, dude. You know, you know what? <laughs> if you actually watched the Manchester United game, of which I watched the last 25 minutes, there was one moment where I really, really... Like, I'm normally rooting for the underdog in every circumstance. Like, it's just more fun to see the underdog win, so no hard feelings, Right? But there was one moment where I was hoping Manchester United was going to win. And it was when I saw Harry Maguire line up the most majestic volley of all time with like two minutes left. Do you guys remember this? Do you guys see this? If that had gone in, I might have cried on the spot. If Harry, he was, he was not feet, not meters. He was inches away. He was centimeters away from, like, the moment that Harry Maguire returned to a triumphant standing. Like, I don't even know how he ended up there. They just threw him up the field late to start winning headers, and it just bounces free 21 yards away. Harry Maguire unleashes an absolute missile. Deflects off the crossbar. Oh. Ever thought about training a kid's team in the city? Honestly, 
I feel like I don't have the time. I've got so many virtual kids to manage. But it was a foul. I wasn't, though. It was not, though. Like, give me VAR and reverse that. Like, what was the foul? Winning a header? I know they called it back for a foul, but seriously. Harry Maguire unleashed an absolute rocket. And if that had gone in, I would have been all team Manchester United with a comeback win and like a Harry Maguire hat trick in the last 10 minutes. He pushed a guy under. I, I don't think he pushed him. Look, I don't think he pushed him. I think the gravitational force of his head just moved him out of the way. Maguire's, the foul was Harry Maguire catching a volley that cleanly. We didn't ever, we never, like, in soccer, right, in football, you never hear an explanation from the ref. Uh, American sports, we get an explanation from the ref. But it could have been the foul, could have been that Harry Maguire caught the volley that cleanly. That's not allowed. It's not in the script. It doesn't play into the memes. Yes. Is it Dane? I'm here to laugh at United. Oh, that's a tough, that's a tough loss. That's a tough loss. That's a tough loss. Now they're bottom of the group with two matches left and they have to play. One of those matches is Bayern, right? Did I, did you see the banner that Copenhagen fans put up? What the theater of nightmares thing? All right, guys, welcome to the new. Yeah, I did. And then somebody tweeted out when they were down 2 nothing, like, man, you can't put up a Theater of Nightmares banner and then go down 2 nothing, and then they won, which was awesome. Like, because I'm sure they, they won that match specifically to be able to clap back against that person on Twitter. That was, like, their whole goal. So I'm really happy for them. Um, but yes, I, I saw the banner. Welcome to the new save. Boom! We are, uh, for those that don't know what the new save is, if you want to wait and watch the episode on the Zealand Live channel, you have five seconds to cover your ears. One, two, three, four, five. You better hurry. We are doing a journeyman with no playing experience and no coaching badges. And we got a job in the South African second division with a team projected to finish in the bottom half. Although we promptly won our first match of the season 4-0 after overhauling everything. And now you're caught up. We haven't overhauled everything yet, but we have put together quite the defense that's able to keep other teams out of the back of the net. Very important skill. Johners, thank you for the prime, dude. Thank you for the four months. Dean, thank you for the prime. We just spent $10 of Jeff Bezos money. Sorry, Florida public school education was struggling there for a second. $10 of Jeff Bezos money. Beautifully done. Well executed. Okay, first match of the day is against the JDR Stars. We are managing Black Leopards FC. And we need a midfielder. Motsuko? Yeah, he'll get the job done. Patsisi is a little tired, so we got to go with Motsuko. We're still learning the uh, rotations, you know, of the team. All right, they're going 4-2-3-1. Uh, our resounding 4-0 victory in our opening match. There are only 30 league matches in this season, so every match of massive importance. We're ready. What is this skin? Oh, it's the Zealand skin. Hey, you guys aren't using the Zealand skin on FM24? I don't. That's wild. Let's go, Black Leopards! Come on! <laughs> Lies, deception. Okay, look at my defense. We figured it out yesterday. In my defense, we figured it out yesterday, and it wasn't even me that figured it out. It was some random person in the Discord. I'll explain after this match. But the Zealand skin may or may not exist for FM24. A little bit. Well, that is poor. Come on, champies. I didn't bring you in to lose headers. We are a little short, though. We are, we are a little on the short side. 
All right, Mudsimbi. Far side, far, far side. That's, well, no! Oh! oh! We can barely see the goal from there. What a goal from Matole. And Black Leopards lead again. Bangers FC. Oh, it's right at the end of the song. That's so that that's so sad. What I mean, dude, uncorked it. Knuckling over the top of the goalkeeper with velocity. Matole makes it 1-0. And we are all about wasted time. So, already adding the time wasting. The dark arts are strong. No, that's my ball. Zulu. That's terrible. That's okay. Everybody on the field is bad. So, this is all about structure, execution. It's a numbers game. We get our body... We, we get bodies in front of the ball. We make them score goals that look like that. And we find ways to get odd-numbered moves offensively like this one! And Quana, honestly, shoot, their goalkeeper is really bad. Pin! Yes! Come on, lads! This is what dreams are made of. Tenda Mukamela is my best taker. That's troubling. He only has a seven in pens. This will be fine. <laughs> Come on, man. It's what you were born for. Bucamella. Let's go. How hard can a pen be? He just passed it into the corner and it's 2 0. On the road, too. What a start to the season for the Black Leopards. I don't know about you guys, but I think we might be a man we might be a rising managerial superstar. Dude, what do you even mean? We are not exactly deep, although I will say we are deep at that position. If there's like two positions we're deep at, it's that one and the other one. I'm going to go with Vuga Malidze, the 17-year-old. Oh! Much love, Slar. Thank you for the 28 months. Thanks for supporting the channel. Did I see that 44 pin match? Wait, was that an FM? I mean, I, let me put it this way. I hope that was an FM. Oh, that's some questionable goalkeeping from Muntale, but it's okay. He kept it out. He kept it out. The New Zealand skin, yeah. Uh, no, the New Zealand skin is not out. And it's not new. But what, we've, uh, what we might have found a way to do is port the skin from 23 to 24. Somebody who is understands code got in touch with me. I basically literally just posted it in the Discord. And then we messaged him. And now we're troubleshooting it. So we don't know if there are any major issues that arise from porting it. There's like one or two things, but not really. But we've had, we have figured out how to port the same Zealand skin from 23 to 24. And it does seem to be working. Um, okay, well cleared. That's beautiful. Bodies in front of the ball. Numbers are there. Oh, and now we score off the corner with all of our short guys. This is what, this is what it's all about. Heart and determination. Jampies. Matsimbi. My right back. Matole. He's already got one. Matsuku. Matole. I mean, honestly, why not? Dude, send it. I'm doing a save of South End. Started with minus 10 points in a transfer embargo in Vanarama. Well, you just enjoy pain, don't you? I'm going to talk to a psychologist about that one. That's that's brutal. What's up, Carrot? Dude, that's... Oh, come on. Come on! Is it worth claiming a naming a staff member? So we had a, we talked about that in our mod meeting. Um, we, I think we're just not going to do that this year. And then we're just going to find other things to spend uh, channel points on. Because we do plan on, obviously, moving jobs a lot, which is exciting. Like, if we do really well in the first half of this season, maybe we get a job offer. No, I can't leave this team uh, until after the year. 
I promised I'd be there a full year. I promised I'd be here a full year. And it's literally match day two, but we're playing really well going into match day two. So, Chauvin, thank you for the eight months. Really? What's the top two? Like, Tigers? My favorite big cat's the Florida Panther. Mainly just to raise awareness. People don't know there's a big cat in Florida. And, I, you know, just when you think there's enough things that can kill you, like pythons and alligators, there is also a big cat that lives in Florida. It's called the Florida Panther. Very scary. Spooky. My actual favorite big cat, though, is a planet zoo, uh, planet zoo connoisseur, probably like a clouded leopard. I feel like that's the coolest one. Sound like a sports team? There is. I mean, that's the hockey team. <laughs> In Miami is the Florida Panthers. That's, that's literally exactly what it is. Feels like this team needs a chant. I'm feeling passionate. I'll trank. We'll give it a crack. But the Florida Panthers can't hurt anybody? I, I don't know. They have one in the zoo. My mom almost hit one with a car one time, but she swerved out of the way. Those are the only two times I've seen them. <laughs> they look pretty significant. Um, I know I should make a sub. I just don't know who for. I'm going to get Matsuko out for Teotliso Patsisi. Yes. Vincent Mishago. No, Cheslin Jampies. Yeah, we, we just don't. We, I'm not a big sub guy, really. Although I am actually a huge sub guy. I just, I don't, I, I don't want to do it right now. Oh, oh, Zulu. Oh, yo, dude, that was the 17-year-old. I want him to get on the score sheet. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. We're going to get a little more defensive here, as if that was possible. We're going to get Matsimbi out and move Cheslin Jampies over. Vincent Mashego can totally play over here. I'll move Mukamela over there and bring Mashego in, but... Sup? Vincent Mashego for Seppo Matsimbi. All right, back. And then I'll move Cheslin Jampies over to his spot. Out of play, Mishago. Way to get there. Just send it. There's no reason to try and be fancy here. We're not fancy. Just send it. Nothing bad will happen if you just send that ball towards the corner and make him chase it. Nothing bad will happen. Bro, I thought I never would have to deal with this again. I thought I would never have to deal with this again. And yet somehow I'm still getting screwed by the corner thing or by the uh, corridor of death throw in. We just isolated an incredibly short dude on their tall guy and they got a goal out of it. Frustrating. We let him back in the game. We gotta manage this. We gotta manage this. Oh, nah. That's fine. That's fine. Well done. Well done. Well done. Anybody tired? Anybody tired? We can get fresh legs in. Quanzi. Quanazi. Uh, no more. Oh, I made three subs and three windows. I'm a genius. I'm a G. Come on, baby, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. Fight the good fight. Fight the good fight, brother. Fight the good fight. Keep fighting, Black Leopards FC. Clear that ball away. Come on, get that ball out of there. Get that ball out of there. Hell yeah, brother. Keep running. Run. Come on, man, run. I, no, don't pass it that way. We don't do that. Oh, he's about to score, though. What's up, son? Goal. 
The 17 year old Moodley D has just certainly won it for Black Leopards FC. What nationality is it? Oh, it's me. I made me. 27 year old American from Tampa, Florida that only speaks English. Didn't give myself any unnecessary boosts. We've won again. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Come on, lad. Go on. Go on. All right. We're winning a good performance, man. We're performing. We are performing. We have won both of our matches. But uh, Tabo and Quan is out for a month. Well, I guess we're starting the 17-year-old. Tabo and Quan is out, so we're starting the 17-year-old. I mean, that's fine by me. The guy looked pretty good on that finish. He looked pretty competent, if you ask me. XG story is a yikes. We were up like 1.6 to 0. 0.8. What did it end up at? Oh, that's fine. I mean, we almost won the match by a full XG. Not to mention, we gifted them a goal. Malidzi was our youngest ever player. Now he's our youngest ever goal scorer. What do you mean he's not in our scouting? Even though he's in our scouting range. Was that what that was selling us? I'm training to improve his attacking movement. Okay, fine. You won't do that anymore. You don't want to do that? That's fine. I'm sorry. I just can't handle it. I just can't handle it. This is my last one. Oh, this is a um this is a signing press conference. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. Sweet. I actually want to control a new signing press conference. I thought it was a press conference for the match, but we don't have those. We don't have we 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 we, we don't have those in the second division of South Africa. We just have new signing press conferences because we just signed that kid on uh, that guy on loan. That kid, he's like thirty-one. He's literally older than I am. Where is he? Uh, Zepaniah in Bacoma. Oh my goodness, he's so good. So how am I going to work him into this tactic exactly? Because we've just won two matches out of this tactic. So what am I going to do? Can he play deeper? Zebaniah. Oh my goodness, he can. Oh, this is going to be fun. So all I'm going to do is just move this spot out. That's all I'm going to do. And then we're going to have a fullback and attack and an inverted winger on it, like on support off the right side. That's all I'm going to do. This is going to be fun. Okay. Um, new tactic. Can I copy this? No. Copy help. I'm in danger. Okay. So this is our new tactic. It's going to be an inverted winger on support. It's going to be Zebanai and Bacoma for Matsuku. Batsitsi is going to be in the team. Matole is going to take Matsuku's place on the bench. This is all making sense. Like, you totally are understanding what I'm saying because you know these players, but I, I feel like I barely know them. I, I mean, I did just get here. I am very new to being here. This is very new to me. Um, okay, we do have an open spot that I am going to give to not Mavunla. Maloko? Want to give it to Maloko? Yeah, Maloko can play. He, he, he can play. He can play a little striker. You think that'll work, right? What do you guys think of that? Do you think there'll be a new stadiums for the new engine next year? Probably not, dear Jeremy's. They probably have a lot of licensing stuff with that. Is he good at attacking midfield? He is, but I like Nomura. And I think Imbacoma adds something that we don't have in most of our team here. Discord not working? No, I published the go live thing, so it was working then. I think that'll work. 
Winger. Yeah, I love wingers. Look, I love wingers in the new game, King Jimmy. I am all team wingers in the new game. Asymmetric. I feel like you kind of just have to do that, especially when you're taking over a team for the first time and you're like, how are we going to get our talent on the field? Because Imbacoma is our talent. This loans recruitment focus is also going to save my life, isn't it? Um, and we managed to be under the wage budget, and we've, like, not sold anybody. We sold one guy. And we have a lot more guys that we would like to get rid of that, like, all of them, you know, well, I just signed for the Black Leopards. They're very excited. Like, look at how many people we're trying to get rid of. My goodness. Anybody at all? A anyone? I'm just going to do an offer out for zero. We're just re-add him. You know, we're, we're going to re-add him. Can I mass action this? Transfer. Offer via transfer room for transfer. That is awesome that I can mass action that. Cool. So now we've got seven days until we play Uppington City and we're at home. I've heard nothing but bad things about Uppington City, so I'm, th I'm expecting a beatdown against them. Ugh. Joey, thank you for the 10 months. Wow. Yo, Matt, thank you for the tier one. They actually just sent me some stuff. I was trying it. It was actually pretty good. Uh, there, That's a company account. They sent me, like, supplements and things. It's not like a sponsorship yet. Yet. They wanted to see if I liked it first. I actually do. I usually don't, so that's nice. They've spawned in. All okay. right. Down, uh, Downington City. No, oh, dude, that's a whole separate category. You have your Uppington Cities and your Downington Cities. That's that. Up the Black Leopards, you got the idea, Bush. There we go. Up the Black Leopards. We're dancing. We're grooving. I don't, like, I don't know if we're going to be able to keep this run going, but we've looked really good for two matches. That's got me feeling some type of way. Will there be a network save soon? We actually haven't talked about it, besides kind of joking about it a couple of times. Ooh! How much of his... Dude. Are you kidding me? Tar uh, Taraba FC from Nigeria is offered for Nkudo Bena, but they want me to pay... Like 75% of his wage. I didn't even know it was possible for that to happen. I'm desperate to move him. You're obviously keen to get something done. I know there's interest out there, uh, but there's nothing I can act on right now. I'll get going right now. Oh, I mean, there, there is something you can act on. Get them to not do that. This is going to continuously offer them out on transfer room. Somebody! Somebody. Lower league teams that will pay half of their wage and remove the player from my team. Seems like a great idea. Ndawonde. What's happening to Ndawonde? Did you stop sponsoring Forsen? Asking the hard-hitting questions immediately. I like that. <laughs> Leopards fans left purring. Wait, is that what that said? That would be perfect. Nothing beats when the American translation used the word. I don't know if you remember this. It was like two years ago. This was actually in the network game. And we discovered it because of the network game. But there was a game between Iran and Iraq, who, if you don't know your history, had a terrible war against each other. And it said, like, it was a World Cup qualifying match between Iran and Iraq. And it said, Iran-Iraq war heats up, or something like that. But then if you use the British-English version, like, instead of the American-English version, it said the Iran-Iraq rivalry heats up. <laughs> it's like, uh, what? There were levels to the joke and the, the crazy stupidity. Upa Manisa. This guy's nuts, by the way. It was soccer fans anticipate Iran-Iraq war. Thank you. Thank you for... Somebody remembers the lore. This guy's just so good. This guy would fit right into our team and be absolutely fantastic. 
And as such, I would like to sign him before any other big team shows up to try and uh, sign him, if that sounds okay, Mr. Oopa Loopa. Um, you just added more to it, so I'm a little confused as to how that happened. Okay, all right, bud. Um, all right, buddy. You're getting a little uppity here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna add a you know. What can I add? Goal bonus, assist bonus, international cap bonus, which I'm gonna jack all the way up because he's not gonna get them. Um. I'll pay him a nice bonus for signing, and then... I'll pay him a big bonus for reaching 15 goals and assists. I'll pay him 1.5k. You better take this, dude. Thank you. Upamanyisa, that is a very good player that can get us through this one season. That's a very good player that can get us through one season. Humphrey Koza, he's dece. He's okay. Our, uh, I think our trial farm is finally starting to kind of run its course, you know? Oh, this guy's really explosive. Emmanuel at Lolo. Very explosive. We, we wouldn't be able to sign him at the like with the financial situation that we're in right now. Ooh, we do have one winger, so it probably wouldn't hurt to bring in another. Oh, this is a banger. We're just gonna, we're just gonna be patient. Messina. He's okay. Like, at the level of the players we're trying to really invest in. The other guy's, like, absolutely perfect. Monomati. Ooh, he plays wing and striker. No, he doesn't play striker. It's a good wing. He's not a great wing. He's also young, which is, which is nice. Younger, I should say. How do you get a reserve team? Um... Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Taporo Matsuku, who just came in and who started the last match, just got a hip injury and is out four to five months. So, RIP in peace. Whoa! Oh! Yo! Thank you for the 10 gifted subs! Wow. So, let me get this straight. They sent me this stuff, right? I met the guy at TwitchCon. They sent me this stuff. I tried it. I liked it. I sent him a message that said I liked it. And maybe we could team up and do something. And now they're making more hammers. They just gifted 10 of you subs. Be sure to say thank you. Enjoy the uh, bacon, the emotes. Make sure to get in the sub section of the Discord if you're not already there. These guys are all right. Uh, where? Yeah, okay. They will do that. Nawonde is there, and Tados SOI is there, and uh, Words. These names are really fun to pronounce. What? Now, Diamond, thank you for the 33 months. Arch, thank you for the tier one as well. Dropped the God Gamer for a balding soccer streamer. Look, man, it's not that bad, okay? Copium. It's not that, but look at the lusciousness, okay? Look at the luscious, what do you, come on, all right? It's hanging in there, give it some credit. Just got a freaking offer, wait, oh, yes! Sky Shadowing with the 10 gifted subs, yo, thank you so much. Major Shamrock, welcome to the stream, dude. Great time to join, great time to join. 10 gifted subs from Sky Shadowing. Chat, be sure to show some love to Sky Shadowing. Might be throwing you some free bacon. Be sure to say thank you. Thank you, Sky Shadowing, for 10 gifted subs. Jeejes. I hated that. I'm never saying that again. Moses Muck... And that, that's, that portends good news because our third string goalkeeper just got a transfer offer from a team in the... South African lower leagues, which is great. Hey! Malud with the 10 gifted subs to bring it to a nice clean 50 all time. 
Welcome to the Hammers, Timote, Will You Die, Atlas, Samuel, Uke, Uke, oh my god, hi, Mark, Harmonic, Reese, Banjo, and Lacella, what's up? Cyperio, thank you for the 11 months to loot, thank you for 10 gifted subs, you are awesome, I appreciate you making uh, 10 people's day, 10 people, anywhere in the world, convinced to find a new club, uh, are all of these guys not motivated to find a new club, what about Indu, this guy's terrible. Uh, convince. I'm going to struggle to register you the competition now. I can't guarantee you a future here, so this is your chance to take control. Oh, come on. Just leave, brother. I don't, I don't love you anymore. It's time to leave. We got one offer, though, which means we're down to six players that we're trying to move, but our third string goalkeeper... Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Holy smokes, dude. That 20 gifted subs? Whoa, whoa, no! Oh, thank you for the gifted subs to cheer me up because the guy just decided to go to the Czech League. Upa Maniza got an offer from Hrodek Kralov in the Czech League and went to play in Czech Republic. How the heck did they snipe him? Had he ever even played outside of South Africa? No. That is unbelievable scouting by Hrodek Kralov to find Upa Maniza butchered that name not surprised doing my best uh you're a boozy thank you for the 20 gifted subs that is big time 20 gifted subs thank you that 20 people stays that's even more than 10 Horaditz Kralov okay well That's sea levels. Yeah, they just pulled a dude who'd been playing in South Africa his whole life into the Czech League. Granted, Hradets Kralov. I nailed it. How was that? Ha, 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 ha. Wrong corner. My bad. <laughs> the exclamation point song's not working. I can't imagine a worse torture. Sino, thank you for the 11 months. Irabuzi, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Seriously. It's time for a location check, chat. We got all these gifted subs flying around. It's, it's worth it to see where in the world they're flying. Where in the world are you watching from today, chat? Time to tab back in. If you're watching on TV, try to grab your phone so that you can type in the chat. Where in the world are you watching from? Sweden, Dallas, Uzbekistan, I wish. Romania, Brazil, Portugal, Bucharest, Greece, Macedonia, Maine, Berlin, Norway, the UK, if you're for the UK, be more specific. Scotland, Copenhagen, London, Leeds, Indonesia, Tunisia, Wales, Bulgaria, Guatemala, Lexington, Kentucky, Manchester in the UK, Leicester, Canada, Japan, Washington, New York City. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> You're going to find me. He's going to find me. Czech Republic. Hey, can you give back that player, please? That'd be really helpful. Minnesota, Johannesburg. Oh, hey, you got any player recommendations? <laughs> Dublin, Gainesville, Florida. Hell yeah, brother. Louisville, Texas. Morocco, Algeria, Manaus, Brazil. Sorry, none of the teams there wanted me. Lima, Peru. Well, you had a, you've had a fun day with the lights. Thank you, guys. That's always very cool to do. Helsinki. I'm from Hraditz Kralov. But are you there now? And if so, can you return my player? I'm very... In this is a matter of national security. Oh, man. He was the only ball winner that was hanging out in that stratosphere, you know what I'm saying? There's Ace Sali who can play all over, but he's more of a passer and less of a ball winner. Denton, Texas? I think I have family from Denton, Texas. I'm in Copenhagen. Congratulations. Oh, man. I'll never be alone again. Goodman Lamini. It, it might be time to sign Goodman Lamini. Do you think he's more sad now? Do you think he's more... Is he more sad? I think he's more sad. Play him as the role of the role of anchor. 
Um, I'm going to just get rid of both. Oh, okay. You want to be an anchor? That's totally fine. Um, that'd be Marshall, Texas. Yeah, but I've been to Denton, Texas. I, mean, I like my mom chimes in like, no, your family's from Marshall, Texas. Night Grizzly, thank you for the 23 months. Almost two years, almost diamond bacon. You're crushing it. Thank you. Callus, thank you for the 300 bits. Why did my notification come 55 minutes late? Well, Alex, it, 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 it got there eventually. You know, it got there eventually, and that's what's neat. Twitch with the better late than never operation. Um, Goodman Dlamini. It's got a competitive streak, which can be a bit of an issue when you're talking about a defensive midfielder. That we are negotiating with a player instead of an agent, so we should be able to drive him down a little bit to like 32.5. Yeah, let's go! If you are a fan of old midfielders... We are, uh, boy, do I have a treat for you. We're looking at Goodman Delamini to slot in as the anchor man in front of our back line. It's for one year, chat. It's for one year. We can live with that for one year. We can live with that for one year. He's a buy. He's definitely a buy. Scouting update. Okay, this is actually a big deal for us. Um, it's all about defending corners and free kicks. I do need to redesign my um, set pieces. Yeah. You thought I was never going to say that again, didn't you? This guy's interested in a loan. Tobago Mabula. Oh, he'd be perfect. He would be perfect. We would have two guys to play that position. Can I make an offer? They want us to pay his entire wage, which I'm like not legally allowed to do, apparently. Harold Majibo. We're scouting him. We're scouting him. I'm doing my absolute darndest, okay? I've set up the buttons on the bottom so that I... Ooh! Infomacola, 37 years old. 25-year-old goalkeeper. Tumiso Mogakwe. Beautiful. Tabo Kalinge. Ramazmong Maloisan. That sounded legit, though. I was really close to that. Infomatsi. Um, hmm. No. And then Pule Marazane. Did we just say, uh, if we make this signing, right, we don't have a lot of money unless we're able to empty out our bench a little bit, which we are trying to do which we are desperately trying to do because we now can batch list players. Oh, the response hasn't come back from our most recent, uh, our most recent batch listing. I need more loan players to be, to be mine. Yeah, well, we have to get through the trial first. This guy looks like he might be unbelievably good. This guy looks like he might be too good. He is a good premier division player. Do you have an agent? Oh, no, thank you again for the five tier three subs on Tuesday. Thank you for the 49 months. Thank you for being an OG of the community. Flex Sprint, thank you for the 13 months. Yeah, it, it should be there. There's like a, I think exclamation point save takes you there now. There's, there, there are commands that will take you to like, I think I don't know them actually. Cause I don't, I'm not working in the chat. What zoom do I play on? 125%. 1440 fee, 125, uh, P 125%. That's like my resolution setup. Um, Hey, can I have more money? Increase to payroll, increase the transfer budget. That'd be sick. Don't fire me for asking also. Uh, we do actually, we, we just got a new big deal that gave us some more uh, money. So uh, I'm thinking maybe, you know, maybe we use that. We, we got a new Jersey deal. May, maybe we just use that thing. Um, and that might be sick if, if we, if we could, that'd be really, that'd be, that'd be neato. That'd be, that right there would be neat. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Neat. Oh. Trial's done. Cool. We're handling our trial farm well enough. We have to work hard, but we can keep playing as well as we did in the last match. 
Is there a team favored to be relegated this season? That's a trick question. See you later, dude. Leave me alone. Noble, thank you for the prime. How does inverted fullback on defense move up the pitch? Too far, because my guy just really doesn't, you know, he's just not that good, so he just kind of goes all over. But think wide center back. An inverted fullback turns into a wide center back if you're playing him with two center backs uh, next to him. And if you have a center back going up as a libero, they just turn into that center back. Moses Mc Dude, we were just signing a transfer for Moses Mackay, and he gets hurt. That's our third string goalkeeper. What do you mean you're unhappy with the squad management? We're lacking sufficient quality squad depth. Have you seen our wage budget? What is this? Vibes are great. We've won our first two matches, and now you're setting off a match in the locker room. Bro, the same thing happened in the Japan save. We're top of the league, we're cruising, and it's like, I don't think our goalkeeper's good enough. Number one thing I hate in FM24, whatever this is, because they have certainly turned up the frequency way too high. There's no way we show up and win the first two matches with a really nice collection of center back options, honestly. I think we have a great collection of center back options. And they're like, we don't. I'm aware I'm lagging support in the locker room at the minute, and this sort of thing isn't helping anyone. Don't let this issue drag the club down. These players don't have the mentality to handle that. I don't think we need it at all. The, squ the squad's adequate for my needs. Obviously, they won't like that. Uh, let's not risk ruining the positive atmosphere. It wasn't that great to begin with. I'm only doing that I think is best for the team right now. That means maintaining the balance of the squad. That w I don't even have good options to respond to this. Where is the we don't have any money option? Where's that option? Because that option is available in other situations when players ask for new contracts. When you're trying to convince players to leave, uh, the team just doesn't have a lot of money. If you want to do it easily, make the promise, then get rid of the person that you made the promise to. That actually doesn't work. Uh, at least in terms of the the like the the thing where it was they're upset with my team talk. Once the guy that made the promise went away, then the next guy just came up. Well, hey Noah, I hope the journeyman goes well. Thank you so much for the prime, dude. I appreciate the six months. Scroll down. I mean, that's as far as I can scroll down. Like every one of the options is just dumb. And would only work in unbelievably specific circumstances, except for the positive atmosphere one, which is obviously not the case because I just had half of my team show up asking about center backs. The squad is adequate for my needs. Why is that option even there? All right, I can leave the talk, though. So I, I can leave the talk. Now everybody's upset. We've torpedoed the atmosphere and leadership support, but we've avoided the promise. No, we haven't. I mean, at least there's no promise. Great. So that was probably the worst possible option, but I just wanted to exp I wanted to give football manager the benefit of the doubt that they didn't just include that option as lip service and that it was possible for that option to work, which doesn't seem like it's the case. And that there might be any other way out of that than making a promise and signing a center back that we don't need, which also it, it just doesn't look like is the case. So we're just going to go sign a center back. All righty. Already off to a hot start. Nobody's there. Search center back. Let's sign a center back we don't need, boys.
Alfred and Nange. How much money do you want? Do you have an agent? Probably not. You want to be a star player? Yeah, well, I don't want you to be a star player, Alfred. Uh, McKetsy, you can play right back and center back. Well, I guess that makes you a little bit more useful, but you're just... And you also hate big matches. Can I get one guy that doesn't absolutely hate big matches of the Burning Passion? Isaac Lapo, you're way too good to be here. What are you doing here? Important player? You don't even want star player? That's wild, man. Okay, uh, can you play... Nope, you just play center back? All right. That's cool. Uh, Tindam and Camella can play defensive midfield, so we might... Uh, both these guys can play defensive midfield. I might just move Tindam and up Cancel the transfer for the other guy. Sign this guy. That might be the move. And then we just don't sign Goodman to Lamini. Which makes me feel terrible, but like, I think that's the move. Isaac Lapo, this guy's good. This guy's very good. And he actually likes big matches, which I feel like is rare. Uh, he's really exchanges, but we're some way apart. I mean, I feel like we're not that far apart. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like we're pretty close. All right. Thank goodness. I kind of sent that a little too aggressively, but it worked. Isaac Nlapo. There's no way they can be mad about adding this guy. He's absolutely cracked. As a center back at this level, he's absolutely sensational. I am going to go cancel the transfer for Goodman Lamini. Sorry, I mean I've tried to sign you twice, Goodman, and now I'm now I'm out. You no. All right. Hopefully we'll be able to satisfy the squad with that signing. We've managed to, thanks to our extensive uh, trial farming, identify a potential target that could satisfy the squad's hopes and dreams. Please, Goodman's a good sub. Yeah, but I don't know, my dude. This is. I cannot believe they haven't fixed this in the game either. I, I literally can't believe they haven't fixed that in the game either. This dude's just sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. And the moment I put an offer in, five offers. Multiple top flight offers in. How long has that been in football manager? A decade? It's just, it's just not realistic or fun. You know? And I feel like the goal of a video game should be we're going to try and be realistic or fun. It's the opposite of fun. It is the opposite of fun. Now, there, now there's no chance that we're going to get Isaac Nalapo because obviously he just got multiple top flight offers. And I just canceled the other transfer offer for no reason, which was dumb on my part. I should have known that was coming. And we could sign this guy up, but he is clearly just not as good. Lawrence and Swane. Don't tell me that. No, I, I, do not tell me that. I'll try and sign him up for like 21. You're going to take that 23, dude. I swear. You are going to take that 23. That is what's going to happen. I'm looking you dead in the eyes, Lawrence. You're taking the 23. Okay, don't even talk to me about this nonsense. Actually, this guy, this guy, Jerry Imsane, might be just better than the than than than, than Lawrence and Swane. Uh Jerry is just better than Lawrence and Swane. Uh, he he is one hundred percent just a better player than Lawrence and Swane. So Jerry Imsane, yeah, but he's a fringe player, right? Like. So I don't know if he's going to satisfy the club. I don't know if he's going to satisfy my, my team that's very upset that we've won the first couple of matches. What fixture congestion are you worried about, by the way? There is none in this entire league, right? We play 30 matches all season. We play 30 matches all season. He doesn't hate big matches. He dislikes big matches, which is why this is okay. 
And Jerry M. Sane is a very physically talented, technically solid, not mentally stupid at this level center back. He does not hate them. He just dislikes them. And I mean, you're talking three-star minimum. This dude is like, he is three stars. He's an A-minus according to our scouting report. Let's just float a contract to him too. Right, let's just fly because he would start. We would realign our team in the way I just talked about. Wow, he wants a lot of money. Well, I guess we're going, Lawrence. In the meantime, I've got an incredibly angry team. So we are now going to cheese it, and I'm going to praise their conduct. Do whatever I can to try and improve how angry they are, which it's not going to work because... They're tied into, like, that thing. Why? Oh, yeah, I played in Bacoma in the last match. That was stupid of me. All right, we'll do... We'll move him in, and then we'll put Matole in the team. We'll have Matole and Patsitsi and, you know, basically everybody that hates me on the field at one time. Uh, yeah, because, you know, the locker room is entirely up at arms at our lack of center backs when center back is the best part of our team. How many center backs do we have, by the way? We've got Mashego and Mareko off the bench. Perfectly fine. Champions play center back. Like, I have four center backs that are rated at least three, like two and a half stars. I knew I was going to regret making that video. I knew I was going to regret making that video. I make a video going, oh, the game's actually good. Takes me three matches to uncover the truly sordid secrets of football manager. Dude, how does that make any sense at all? This is great. This is awesome. Love this. We win our first two matches and we just get punished. It's, 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 it's like, did anybody... I played one save, right? I played one save, so I thought it was a particularly unique situation, and we had some bad goalkeepers. But the fact that I have now played with two teams, and it has happened both times, despite great success in both saves. It's incredibly illogical and frustrating because it's illogical. It's like they don't actually play test the game. I've always said that. It feels sometimes like they don't actually play test the game. And then they do the early access. And then they expect people to be able to diagnose that as an issue and like go to the forums where it happens in their one save. The vast majority of people would look at that when it happens in one save that you're playing in early access and be like, oh, that must be a pretty unique circumstance. But then the more you do it and the more it happens every single time, you're like, oh. Wait, that's actually just kind of busted. That's just a really nice goal. I yell encourage, but my players will be disheartened by that shout, I am sure. I move it. Oh, dude. That's, that's all right. That was a good play. I had to try and I, I don't even know how, but keep the mentality. There, there's no feasible way to keep the mentality of the team kind of locked in. Because we, we just happened to go down early and, you know, we've torpedoed. The, the, the mentality of the team has been thoroughly torpedoed. Oh, 
Okay, we're still there. We're still there. That's good defending. We need new center backs, though. Yeah, we, we need more depth at center back. But we got to go sign a new center back for some reason. All right, champies. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, if they said wingers, because I only have, like, one winger on my entire team, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. They didn't even say wingers. They said the third deepest position on any position map that you could come up with of our team and the position that I consider the greatest strength of our team. We have two, our two highest paid players are center backs. Just unreal. I can't find a way for it to make sense. Other than it's some sort of, I mean, it would still be a glitch. It's some sort of thing that like, the, but, but it's not, that there's not a lot of leadership support because I obviously came out of nowhere to get the job. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Way to keep the pressure on. Way to keep the pressure on. Staying on him. Staying on him. All right. This is going to be a precarious team talk. Um, unlucky. Where's the unlucky? There we go. Okay. Encourage the lads. It's totally okay. They scored a banger. We've had good pressure on them. Rongo, thank you for the 10 months. It is a confirmed bug. Wait, has, if you can show me a document that where SI said it's a bug. The issue isn't the bug, it's the choice of position. Oh. All right. Uh, uh, Melissa Ramusia is going to come in. Um, hopefully we will fix the... Indalonde is going to come in. Uh, Makoro Maloko is going to come in. Matole is there. We're going to move Patsisi over. We're going to... We were training the tactic. I'm going to bring you in and have you as the inverted winger. All righty. Actually, we'll just go... We'll just go winger on attack. Pull back in support. All righty, and then we got to give some talks. Uh, I have faith in you. Not that that'll help necessarily anybody, but worth the try. Oh, got it. Malidzi's there. He did what he could. He did what he could from that position. Can't blame the youngster. Oh, let's see me. Well won. All right, I go with encourage, and we've got our subs in. Kind of want to get our formation up. All right, come on, boys. Let's find that goal. Let's find that goal. It's just a dud feature. Yeah, sometimes they change things unnecessarily. I'm like, was a glaring issue in the game the fact that the locker room didn't come to you enough to complain about the lack of depth at a certain position? Like, did that really need to be, that, that needed to be aggressively tweaked? All right, Potsisi, that is a dime. That is a dime to Imbacoma. And, oh, it's still alive. Potsisi into one day. Oh, got blocked. It got blocked. All right, we stay on it. We stay on it. Stay on it. Indawonde. Jampies. Oh, still alive. Kumalo back to Indawonde. Good. Imbacoma. Kumalo. Yo, oh, it got deflected too by Maloko. We're playing pretty well. Man, they just scored a banger and we haven't been able to break through. Oh, yeah, 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 Champies. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. That was the last moment we could get a highlight and know it was a highlight. Oh. Rasmusia. All right, we're going to suffer our first defeat right after the locker room mutiny over one of the best positions on our team. All part of the game. Rasmusia. Dang it. Well, you know, I thought we played pretty well, but we have come up empty-handed against Uppington City. Um, I'm proud of your efforts, even if it wasn't to be today. What we need to do is solve the locker room problem uh, before we run into any more matches. So we've sold our third-string goalkeeper, which is good. Uh, board request denied for more budget. Fair. Um, next game. Next game. No transfer stories today. Thank you. Okay, so our transfers, we're looking at Isaac Lapa, who we're not going to get, and then Lawrence and Swane, who it looks like we would be able to get. Um, and he would solve, hopefully, the problem. Lapa would also solve the problem. Of course, this is... <laughs> The only point of the entire calendar that's laid out right now where we play two matches within five days of each other is right when the locker room decides to come to me and go, yeah, actually, here's this dumb glitch thing. Here you go. Here, here's the dumb glitch thing. Enjoy it. So now we might have to play two of our 30 matches. We might have to play two of our 30 matches like that with uh, the locker room out to sea against a very good team as well. So if that center back could sign, that would be amazing. Uh, if that center back could sign, that would be tremendous. Also, this guy is a player that we have been trying to get rid of. The guy that started it was a player that we're trying to get rid of. Hi. Um, we've shown the right attitude in training since losing, yeah. Well, I just really hate press conferences in this game. I'll be honest. I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to do them in a journeyman because you know we might get asked about other jobs or something. But I, I do not know if I can be asked. This is your 2024 save? It's a journeyman, my brother. We started with no uh playing experience, no coaching badges, applied to every job we could. We got a job offer from the second division of South Africa. They wanted to it's we literally just put me in the game. Somebody with good tactical principles, you know, but that doesn't have uh, necessarily any experience. Oh, goodness. Yes, he signed. Lawrence Inswane has signed. You know, the funny thing is I technically should delay this. But I kind of wanted to sign him because I know that Isaac Nlapo is going to go somewhere else. If Isaac Nlapo ends up here, then that's fine. But I'm going to sign him now so that we don't have to play this match without a center back. Hey, the center back thing went away, but our leadership support and club atmosphere is still terrible. Yay. 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 It didn't fix. No way. Come on, bro. If I'd done the promise, it would have fixed. What are you, what are you even saying? So now I signed a new center back. Nobody's upset. Okay, so now they've dropped the concern. Oh, what a huge move. Yeah, see, this was actually in the green before that happened. This was actually in the green. And this was also at poor, not very poor. But uh, you know what? Football manager. I will play your broken game and I will beat it anyways. I will play your broken, silly game, and I will beat you anyways. You hear me? I don't care. 
will win anyways. I just want you to acknowledge the fact that that whole thing was stupid. Now I've satisfied the promise. And uh, now I'm staring at, you know, now I'm staring at like, what, what, what am I staring at? This is the guy that raised the promise. He's okay. Everybody else isn't. Indawonde is the guy that raised the issue in the first place. Now he's not okay? Come on. How does that make any sense? If you're being honest with yourself, how does that make any sense? It doesn't. It doesn't make any sense at all. Because it's a baroquin. All right, Mukamela's there. Mashego's here. Uh, Matsimbi. Oh, goodness. Well, aren't we just going to need another uh, fullback? We're going to have to loan somebody in because, I don't know, I just was forced to spend money at center back for some reason. I uh, offer you guys back on transfer room because you're guys that I'm trying to move. And into one day is another guy I'm trying to move, but we have managed to get some transfer offers, which is good. Erickson, thank you for the 20 months, brother. All right, they're playing a 4 4 2. Yeah, but you've never seen anything like this, have you, brother? So Embacoma is here. And ready to ready to mingle, ready to ready to dance. You're gonna go full back on support. You're gonna live that life, might seem be. And then Cheslin Jampies is gonna come in for you, and life's gonna be good. Okay, on the road against the second best team in the league, which is less than ideal, considering that my locker room is just mad now at nothing. They came to me about a center back. I went and tried to not do the promise and, and sign a center back, and now they're just mad. They're just angry. They're like Patrick Starr, man. They're mad because they can't see their forehead. They're just sitting there. Ugh. Evan, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you for being a part of the Hammers, brother. I appreciate you. Any way to get your database set up? I could upload it on Steam if you want. That is a big old stadium in Pretoria. Pretoria Cali's also second team in the league. They've won their first three matches. We won our first two and then had our locker room torpedoed, but we'll overcome that. We just got to play together, play very defensively. We had good numbers. Uh, all we can ask is that we had good numbers in position there. We had good numbers in position. Nice. Kamalo. Um... Chong Wei, oh goodness. I could tell that wasn't going to get blocked by Mashego. Dude, can he kick it far enough for us to be standing that far up the field? That's the real question. Imbacoma, who is very, very talented. Oh. Vladizzi is tall, so he could be a threat there. Ooh, Zulu! What, what just happened? Oh, well, you just ran right by the ball, man. All right, our left back's very good in this game. And he got there. Mukamela just send it. That's fine. Compete. Compete for the second ball. Good. You lay it off, you can just send it again. We don't, we, we don't overcomplicate this. Just send it again. Oh, nice work. Oh, nice work. Zulu! Sanele Zulu! For Black Leopards FC! Brilliant from the 17-year-old Malizzi. Working the ball out of a crowd, and he's just funneled it into a dangerous area for Sanele Zulu. That was beautiful from Malidzi, the 17-year-old. He's all about, he's about that life. Malidzi's about that life. That ball was bouncing around on Zulu, but he did a good job to just hit it into the ground and get it on target. Matole. 
Nabuera, Zulu. Oh my goodness, almost a combination. That's okay. That's not that's not our game at all. It would have been nice if we pulled that off, but I can't blame our guys for not being able to do that. That's not what we're trying to do. Oh my goodness, Malidzi again. No, Malidzi. He's looking like a world beater out there. Oh, I'm liking the look of this guy. Uh, all we got to do is win a match, and we'll get our locker room back. Get our winning way back. Meshego, Kumalo, oh, Malidzi. Oh, what a header by Vukala Malidzi. Oh, this kid's got something special in Pretoria today. Vukala Malidzi. This is an inch-perfect header from the big 17-year-old. Moore could not get to it. Vocalo Malidzi has been the factor for Black Leopards FC. Well, ain't this nice. Namuera, Matole, oh my goodness, it's Malidzi again! Oh, it could have been three. It could have been three. This is a great performance though. Pretoria's had a great start to the year. Mashego spinning it towards Malidzi. Motole, who just seems to get shorter every time I see him. Lepalala. That's a corner. There we go. That's what we want. Keep it down here. We master the dark arts. It's what we do. Keep it down there. Keep him down there. Uh, that wasn't the side that the ball went out. Have the rules of the game changed? Or did it sim a little bit and I didn't notice? That's more likely. Kamalo. Oh, good spot for Kamala. What are you doing? Dude, don't get caught there. Que paso? Um, that was a disgusting ball. It's because it's in the southern hemisphere, dude. Shut up. That's why they took the corner from the other side. Nice. Yeah, I should have thought of that one. It's the other side. You just you flip it upside down. Have we seen one fan in the stands? I don't know. It is second division South Africa. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're just up here. Hey, cheaper tickets, man. Cheaper tickets. Can't blame them. The tickets are cheaper, dude. Why, are you going to pay lower bull prices in this economy? I'm not. Tickets are cheaper up there. That's where I'm going. Absolutely. Views better. You can really see the whole field. You know, it's, it's sick. It's awesome. That's where I'm going. I'm going up there. Do I play in high graphics? Yeah, this is the highest. Look, I, the graphics look terrible. If you're new to Football Manager, we know that. Um, we've been complaining about it for a long time, which is why Football Manager is switching to the Unity engine, which is what, like, Escape from Tarkov is on. Switching to that for uh, FM25. So the change is coming. It just takes a couple years. In the meantime, you have to embrace the way it looks. I'm in the stands every weekend. Bloemfontein represent. I, I've seen some videos of South African fans. They're great. But I think it's one of those leagues where it's like the top league, really the top half of the top league that have like really great support. But that, you know, I don't know if the full league is able to sustain that sort of level. Matole, goodness. <laughs> he has already scored a banger this year, but, you know, sometimes you just miss hit the ball. Yeah, that happens. Got hired by Norby IF in the Swedish third division. Oh, dude, enjoy. Oh, no, 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 Malizzi, how did that not go in? That was like the worst the ball movements looked the entire time I've been playing FM24 that like hit the post of the keeper and then just sputtered out. I am in love with this 17. This dude wasn't even in the senior team when I got here. And I went, hey, this guy's just as good as any of our other strikers. And he, oh, what a hit by Freddy Matole. Oh, we are so back. Oh, what a hit by Freddy Matole. Oh, my short king, Freddy Matole. My, he is, he is our short king, Freddy Matole. I mean, how in the world has that gotten through that traffic jam? That, that had the divine protection. They call that ball Moses. I'm happy with the number of shots. Great work, everybody. Let's go. What, what a bang from Freddie Matole.
go, baby. Come on now. Come on now, Freddie Matole. Ooh. Malidzi. I'm making this kid a star. I'm making Malidzi a star. Nuanera's already lost his starting spot to Malidzi. I think that that is that enough is clear. Well, Malidzi offers us a bit of size, which Nuanera didn't offer as well, so. He did the math to put the ball in the only available. Yeah, dude, he, this man's Pythagoras out here. Oh, Malidzi again. Malidzi. Winning headers on corners all over the place. Machego. Wait, isn't Machego my center back? God, dude, we have no technically skilled players on this team at all. We are just athleticism and vibes. We have very committed players, like, on defense. But we have no technical ability anywhere on the team, except for Midleadsy. Shongwei, get that out of here. Get that out of here, Kamalo. Wait to go. Oh, no, we need to cover the edge of the box. You got to cover the edge of the box. You can't just let him queue up up there. We got to get another per Can I do that? We got to get another person up there. Aerial defenders, trackers. There's no option. Dang. That's unfortunate. All right, go back, player mark. Edge of... Oh, edge of area. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Let's go with a couple of just edge of area players. I feel like that'll help. Because there's a real danger when the ball bounces out like that. I need to watch it again. I'm going to be seeing it in my nightmares. Real danger, not even fake danger. Freddie Matole. Oh no, nope. this is why we hit. We this is why we. Why do we hit the ball up the field right when we get it? Because we're not good. That's why we do that. We hit the ball up the field right when we get it because we're not good. Okay, you guys understand that? That's why, right there. It's okay. Nothing crazy has happened. We just have to get back to doing what we were doing. This is why you score three goals. Nothing crazy has happened. Just play defense. And now we've got our two edge of box guys, so it's going to be harder for them to score the goal they scored last time. That's good. They actually stay where they're supposed to. That would have been a really nice goal if that guy scored it. Like, make them do that. Make them play through you. Don't give them the opening. Totally fine. Totally fine. All right, take a deep breath. We're going to make some subs. Life will be good. Cheslin Jampies is coming in. He's coming in on that side. He'll take care of that. All right. Also need some fresh legs on defense. So uh, midfield, we're going to go with Batsisi. Oh, wait, no. We don't have the double midfield anymore because we have Zepaniya and Bacoma. So we're going to move that spot in, and then we're going to bring in Potsisi for that guy, and then we're going to put in Mkwansi at the defensive midfield spot that we hope to not have to deal with much longer. And our attacking midfielders having an absolutely explosive 6.2, so Indowande is going to take over for him for the final 20 minutes. All right, ready, break, go team! The fresh legs are very important in the lower leagues. There's not a huge difference in quality. Okay. Way to fight, Malidzi. Way to fight, son. Way to battle. Cheslin Jampies. This is not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. Mkwanazi, please just hit the ball up the field at some point. Oh, my goodness. Freddie Matole wants those cookies. Freddie Matole wants it. Um, okay. Bawali, my goodness. Oh, we're there. That, you know, Cheslin Jampies, good player, actual signing of ours. Oh, my goodness, Malidzi brought that down. I love this guy. Zulu, Malidzi. Got fouled there, ref. A hey, uh, ref. Ref, I'm looking at it. I'm looking straight at a foul. Looking like a very, very clear foul. All right, Jampies is in the right spot. That's good defense. Oh, 
Well, that sucks. Well, that really sucks. Oh, there's a ton we could have done about that. Maybe midfield was a little too high, but... I'm not going to chase the game. They want to give it to us. If they want to give us an opportunity, we're, we don't have the ability to chase the game. All right, into one day. Oh my goodness, this is actually opening up so well if we just hit the ball up in the air. But we're going to try and pass through them. Oh, yes! 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 Um, hmm. Carl Arrow. Oh, what a time to score that goal! It just came together for Black Leopards FC. Indawonde, the substitute with a scorching strike on his left in the 90th minute. They blew a three goal lead, but they have reclaimed the lead. Okay. Don't love the kickoff highlight again. Oh my goodness, Podsisi, Kamalo hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it up. Hit it up. What do we do? We hit the ball up the field. Hit the ball up the field. Oh, my dude. Hit the ball up the field. Hit the... Good shot. Good shot. Do you have made more goals from outside the box already? Yeah, I, I feel like the goals are generally coming in more realistic situations. Pot CC, oh, dang it. Pot CC, Malizzi can win that. Another corner. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wasted all the time, oh! Cheslin Jampies nearly. Oh, Cheslin, love the chip. Dude, we've just, we've wasted the entirety of stoppage time just like knocking the ball around this corner. <laughs> the dark arts, baby. And, uh, no rush. No rush, Patsisi. No rush. Zero rush. Into one day! Freaking go, dude. On Dizwa Indawonde with two late goals for Black Leopards FC. It doesn't matter how it happens. The only thing that matters is if you win or not. Woo, baby. First non-win of the year for the Pretoria Callies. Great response. We learned a valuable lesson with the edge of the box thing, too. Everyone wants to be as high on the table as possible. We're doing well in that regard. Um, can't wipe the smile off my face. That was a great, great win. That was a great win for the Leopards. Uh, and Day was undoubtedly one of the key performers. Um, honestly, on Dizwa in Dewonde, I think you might have did, what's his long shot, eight? He might have just played his way off the transfer list right there. 
He just played his way off the transfer list. Faux show. Faux show played his way off the transfer list. Lawrence and Swane, you are now registered, and let's move. Sweet. Did that fix our locker room? Yeah! Come on! They aren't mad at me anymore. Let's go! Uh oh. Yeah, oh. I uh, Shkambuzo uh, Mazabuko, interesting name. Love to see it. Can we get the Spotify playlist, please? Yeah, it's dude. It's a banger, isn't it? It's um. So I made a radio off of Instant Crush by, by Daft Punk, and this is literally just that radio. This dude sucks at passing, though. But he's a good athlete. Dude, if he had like nine passing, I could justify signing him and playing him in central midfield. You know? Sanele Shabalala. I mean, we need a Shabalala, don't we? Innocent Imfanleni. Imfanleni. I don't know. Uh, Reggie Zondi. Reggie. Reg. Reginald. My boy, Reg. Princeton Lover from Zimbabwe might help you. He's an amateur contract. Yeah, I actually, when we, Princeton Lovu was on, I think last year, our Hidden Wonder Kids list. This year, he didn't make it. This year, he didn't make it. But we did, we did look at him while we were making the list. Like, he did come up. Princeton Lovu. Oh, wow. Malizzi's getting a lot more athletic and a lot smarter. That is huge. Well, he can't get stupider. His finishing's already at 14. Vugala Malizzi. Mal I, I believe in his potential now. He's playing like it. Skip to player status. Skip to recommendations. They want his full wage being paid, bruh. I'm not about that life. I'm more about the they're paying the wage life. And I just take the player. Anybody doing that? Anybody got one of those nice uh, deals going? Dang it, I did not mean to do that. No. Given to Betty. Sakela Sitole. I add you four guys to our loan shortlist. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Other recommended players. Pumlani in Sangi. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Nobody's found him yet. What if we just go immediately and we're like, yo, dude, do you want to play on our team? And he just becomes like God. This guy was playing at Baroka last I I don't know how. He's very, very talented. Uh, Boomlani. Uh, I think we just offer. Are they, uh, does he have an agent? Yes. I hate you. I don't think we have a lot of financial firepower. We do have an offer out for Isaac Lapo, who we would love. We would love for him to be on the team, but he's not going to be on the team because he has offers from the top flight of South Africa. 
which I'm imagining this guy's going to have too. So my main concern is if we offer him a contract, we're not going to be able to offer him enough money. Yeah, not quite at this stage necessarily. All right, what if I gave you a really high appearance fee? What if I gave you really high assist bonus fee? What if I gave you a really high unused substitute fee? What if I gave you a minimum fee release clause to foreign clubs, zero dollars? Minimum fee release clause to... Yeah, that, 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 that sounds good. Kyle Charles and I have a very friendly relationship, so... Let's try that, dude. This, is, this seems like a great deal. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, minimum fee release clause for domestic clubs in the higher divisions, zero dollars. Goal bonus, international cap bonus. Uh, Ned Bank Cup, reach the quarterfinal. I'll pay you 5K. Um, you know, just, just a little something, something, uh, season landmark goal bonus, goal and assist. I'll go ahead and pay you 1.5 K for that. We will bankrupt the club to get this guy on the team. 100%. And I'll pay you that. Uh, actually, if you hit this, I'll pay you 6.5 and 6.5 and then 6.5 K. And then... Salary after reaching five league games is 52. 72,000 salary impact with nice fat bonuses. Big goal and assist bonus. International cap bonus. We'll jack that all the way up. Non-negotiable. Come on, Charles. You and I have known each other for a long time. We've known each other for a long time. All right. This, this deal makes sense. It's glorious. Dang it, brother. Gosh darn dang it. I'm going to bring him on trial anyways. You can sign free players anytime and register them in South Africa. So that's not something we have to worry about. And he is on trial with us. But guy looks good now. How are there always more? Like, are we eventually going to run out of guys that are like South African and free? No, we're not, because it's a free country. School. <laughs> Ryan, man. Oh, this is just all the guys we just got recommended. Totally fair. Whoa, there's something. Yeah. Yeah, he's already on trial with us. Don't worry. I beat you to that one. Cello Jafta. Okay. What I do want to do is look at a few national teams. Like, this guy's not on a team. Trial. These guys are all on teams. That dude plays for Raja Casablanca. That's sick. So now we're now we're going to get incredibly nuanced here because we've we're about to exhaust all of our loan options. And so what I want to do is look for guys on national teams that are no longer um on a club per se. You just come in here, look for guys on zero value, find free agents on a bunch of African national teams. Egypt. I mean, there's no way, right? You never know unless you ask. You want to play in the South African second division? It probably wouldn't help you out with the whole Egypt national team thing, but it would be, you know, it'd be a fun, look at it this way. It'd be a fun career adventure. Guys, we could sign Pele. How cool would that be? That'd be really neat. Oh, there's a lot of guys from uh, the Sierra Leone national team. This is probably the only guys we can convince to come here, honestly. DR Congo is definitely too good. Mauritania could have some guys. Barama Indoy. All right, that's probably enough. It's probably enough right now. 
Um, what is this? A World Cup qualifying Africa section? We, we, we barely even got through two groups. There's a lot of free agents on senior national teams here. Okay, South Sudan's probably not, probably not it. Sudan, though, those guys are probably plenty good enough. This is this is what this is what it's about right here. Togo, Melvin C T. Okay, I feel like I've heard of that guy. Oh yeah, he was on Gwingob. And uh no, he's in Norwich. This dude just hasn't played a lot of senior ball. Please accept. Everybody accept the deal. Accept the deal. Uh more than 30 players on trial at a time, so they said no. Okay. Barama and Doi said no, but like maybe he'll say yes in the future. And then you said no. Did everybody else say yes? No, okay. There is a nice large collection of players that said no, including most of the people that I recognize their names. But hey, I mean, that, you know. Oh, the dang it. The guy from the Egyptian team said no. That sucks. Oh, we're looking for superstars. Selo Jafta. Well, he's one of the South Africans that we just brought in. Rafik de Good. Oh, another center back. They they grow on trees here. Usman Sila of Burkina. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. I mean, look, wage demands and everything, we have no idea what's feasible or not. Okay, we have no idea what's feasible or not but those are a couple of guys that don't look bad necessarily we'll be back to the african world cup qualifying page that's all i have to say about that that is all i have to say about that all right you five jabronis time to offer you out again somebody somewhere loves you and wants you on their team probably I'm not an expert, but that is my that is my guess. Right now, we probably have room to sign like two more guys. Right now, we probably have room to sign like two more guys. We're gonna try and use that room. Firing some guys up by yelling at them for training. Oh my goodness, Meritsburg beat Orbit College six to five. This league is nuts. Jashinte, thank you for the 21 months, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you for being a part of the Hammers. Oh, everybody knows about Abdul Ba. Everybody knows about Abdul Ba. I mean, Prince Indelovu is like the dime. All right, what, what, what was Zimbabwe? I'd be foolish if I didn't look at him. Fritz, hey, thank you for the two months. I appreciate it. Buy him. That's technically who I was looking for, isn't it? I was I was looking for Zimbabwe, and they showed me Zimbabwe. You know, and that's good good for them. Appreciate it. Why he was above the actual country of Zimbabwe is an interesting prop, you know, interesting question to raise, perhaps. About Benin, Jiman Coco. Lesotho. I mean, that would be two on the nose. Well, I'm just not even going to dignify Nigeria by looking. Yeah, all of these guys should be. Good enough to improve our team, which is like the fun part, you know?
Glenn Habimama has snubbed us. Yeah, all right, Glenn. The other guys said that it was beef. Oh, come on. Jimon Kuku. Well, he has 42 caps for Benin. And Benin's an actual team, you know, with actual talent. Wait, is this guy Ernest? Sig oh, he is a target man. He is a target man. Time to start moving some other people. Could we move Rafik Namwera? I am going to offer him out via transfer room in Dawonde and see if we can find a deal because we actually have Milford interested in him. Um, Masudu Makavu. Well, that's I don't know the amount of money to be tied up in there. We are just trying to dump the wage, brother. We are just trying to dump the wage. I'm going to put you on the transfer list as we close in on the end here. Please, please, please. Glad Kumalo's injury wasn't bad. Please. We got to grind it out here trying to free up as much wage as possible. I spelled in Lovu, right? Oh, sick. We didn't make the uh, database big enough for Prince and Lovu to exist. Love that. They're not happy with the standard of the strength coaching, which, like, honestly, I get it. Isaac Nlapo has signed with a top division team. Unsurprising. Oh, this Golden Arrows guy is good. Be able to learn. Is he free? Say no more, fam. I mean, really. You want to give me free players? I will take free players. We need all the free players we can get, and this guy looks good. He is an athlete with a cap with a capital athlete. Not like we're doing anything fancy over here. I can work with athletes. That's what we're trying to do. Work with athletes. Diamuka wants to send a guy over here for free. There's no loan rules here. I'll do it. I'm taking every free player I can get my hands on. Just got a bike scored on you in the Slovakian second division. Hey, don't uh, hey, don't count that out. And one day is ready to run down his contract. I, I agree. I think putting him on the transfer list, even though Andizwa and Duonde. Leave me alone. We're starting to make some noise about some lack of depth at right midfield. So I think we just need to hang out in that formation. And then right before the match, I switch to a different formation so that they don't think we're using it. And then I just sneak it in on them. Then I just sneak it over the line. So we got a good loan forward. He's on his way in, which would be really, really nice. I'm excited for him. And then a oh, deadline day should be coming up. Oh, it's before the next match. Okay. So good loan forward. We got the good loan winger, two guys that we are not paying. The closer we get to deadline day, the more free loans should come available. Our scouts are not good, but they're doing the best they can to find us those free loan targets. 
They can help add to our team and not, you know, strap us with wages. Uh, never say never on the transfer business for the Black Leopards. You're darn right. We're looking at top flight guys that want to come down here and make something happen with Black Leopards FC. Two deals done this window. Where where else are you looking to do deals? I'm not telling you. I'm not. I I don't I don't give away my secrets. Pule Marasane. Oh, hello. And how are you doing this evening? He's good, man. He's good. Info oh, this guy was supposed to be really good, and he is really good. He is a freaking Metsala, dude. He plays central midfield at a good Premier Division level. The top league doesn't want to touch him because he's 37 years old, but we're, we can't pretend he wouldn't be a stunningly good player for us. Yeah, he can really run. The issue is, uh, I think we we all need to be aware of the fact that that would go away over the course of the season. And we'd be looking at a guy who's very creative and can pass. Tabo Kalinge. He's got the jawline of the century. Just unleashed. I need some sort of product warning before I open his page again. Rama Samong Malio, uh, Maloy Sane. So easy to say. This is honestly the greatest test of being able to phonetically pronounce, like, pronounce names. Can't even pronounce the word pronounce. It's Jover. Yeah, we're signing everybody for, for 10 months. I mean, it's, it's about building a team that can just achieve our goals this season. When you're in the second division of South Africa, you're not really building for the future. You are building for survival. All right, deadline day closes midnight on the 22nd. Free players can be signed at any point. So the real issue for us is not the free players and checking our trial farm. It is moving these guys um, out via transfer room. Offering those seven guys out as an opportunity to maybe free up some wage so that we can then dive in on more players. In the meantime, we're going to go to our short list. We're going to go to our loan short list. We're going to look at players that are interested in loans with us. Sadiso Padige, very well-rounded player, would definitely play him in central midfield. Uh, we're just looking for somebody that would... Oh, my goodness! Sadiso Pagie would be available for free. Shut up. Quick, before anybody sees. Come on. You'll make it. Wow, okay. Uh maybe, maybe there are some wonderful opportunities here to uh to make something. How do I change the routing? Does anybody know? How do I change it so that when I come back from a player's screen, it doesn't take me back to the overview? Settings, you tick a box. All I know is it down. Um, formats? No. Interface. Uh, highlight Aberlin so automatically override custom panels. Landing page. That's not it. That's team. That's team screen. Landing page is profile, which is fine. That didn't solve that at all.
but it does not take us the attribute screen, which I don't like, so I'm going to put that back. Does anybody know how to actually work the game? Bruh, I want to stay on my custom view, but it keeps dumping it. So below it, leave player page when you hit back. Make the custom view the default. Well, then how do I do that? Manage views. Um, the general info is the default. Ask nicely. Alt F4. Alt F4 sounds like it would work. Whatever. Um, this isn't even what I customized the view into. General position. I want to see their position on this screen, man. All right. Midfield center, Morgan Van Ruyen, the good passer, Augustine Milanoko. Johnny Matole. Sakela, Sitole, Maduli. Harold Majibodi, this would be a nice free loan. They don't want a lot. Like, the price has gone way, 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 way down. The price has gone way down. Mabula is very one trick. But, oh, my dude, the price has gone down for everybody. This is a dream. The price has gone so far down, we might be able to fit a few of these guys in here. Like seven thousand for some of these guys, but no, we don't. We don't want to spend any wage. We do have an opportunity to get guys for for better. Delamuca and Pagier would be very good pickups with the loans here on deadline day. Somebody made him a Matole offer. Cape Town Spurs made him a Matole offer. He's only getting paid thirteen. I did not know Freddie Matole was only nineteen years old, but I'm kind of loving Freddie Matole. The long shots has been clutch, and he won't get upset if I deny it, so no. Um, all right, we have until midnight. It's uh, 12 hours. Some Kello Lamuka said yes. So Lamuka's in. We got that guy for free, dude. Blunt force object. He's all athleticism and holy trinity, but that's fine. Good determination. Heading solid. Off the ball's good as well. He's not going to be a part of a lot of buildup, but we don't need you to be a part of a lot of buildup. We just need you to be here, and we need you to attack the back line like your life depends on it. And he's able to do that. Are we paying any part of your contract? No. Are we paying any part of your contract? No. Uh, are we paying any part of your contract? No. Okay, cool. Just making sure we could have canceled any of those loans. Pajia is like, yeah, I'm down, dude. Pajia is like, I'm so down. I, uh, I'm totally down. 
I'm triple checking these loan rules because I'm pretty sure there was there, there were none. There are no loan rules. South Africa is my ideal nation. It has no loan rules. It, it has literally no loan rules. It, it, this is my, this is the perfect country. There, there, this, this is the perfect country. It's just, it's just perfection. There are no rules on my favorite part of the game. There are no loan rules. I have found heaven after all. Impo Matsi, no. Lavoyo Imkachana, no. We're just going to have to make you guys much more depressed. My currency is depression. The sadder you guys get, the smaller contract that you're willing to take, the happier I am. You understand what's happening here? All right, loans list. Anybody else there that we would want to sign now that we've made two stupendously good signings? Van Royen. I'm still interested in Mabula, but you're you're only coming. You're only at like forty percent, and you're gonna stay there. You want us to pay seven thousand for him, and that just feels feels like a bit of a ripoff. You know, I don't want to pay that percentage of his wage. Now, this they oh they actually lowered that too on Sungweni, Tommy Sungweni. That's a very good defensive midfielder right there, box to box midfielder Tommy Sungweni. Really, just overhauling the entire team, aren't I? Uh, Johnny Matole. Johnny Matole. Why am I adding a Johnny? We're in South Africa, dude. We're not in France. All right. They would give me Magalela for free. And that is cool because Magalela can back up the right wing position. So we're just going to go ahead and take him for free here. Magalela. Uh, Tifelimbilu Magalela. Tifelimbilu Magalela. For free? Sure. All right. We keep moving. It's 530. Magalela deal accepted. That means we've got, what, six hours? We're just see how desperate they get. Magalela's deal's gone through. 18-year-old Tiffin Bilu Magalela. He's in. The lad has only gone and done it. Is he left-footed or right-footed? He's right-footed. We'll train him as a right-winger coming from that deep spot. I just wanted to get him somewhere where he might play, and he definitely might play here, so that's totally fair. But some better trialists as well. All right, last look at the loans. We have four hours to get a deal in. So this is the last look that we can have. Remember, we can sign free players and register them at any time. We've already confirmed that in the league rules. So a couple of these trialists look like they might be very good. I'm very happy about Happy Jelly. Yeah. He's cooking. I am. I feel like I'm in a flow state. I feel like I can I can see my thoughts. Augustine Macaloco, Logan Van Royen, no. Mondoncella. What positions does Mondoncella play? Oh, he plays left back. Oh, we need a backup left back. 8,000? Dang it. Mabula. We really could have used somebody that was like a defender or like a fullback because we don't have a lot of extra fullbacks. So Mabula, do we really like Mabula? I mean, he's explosive. But we just got that other winger for free. So why would we spend 7000 on Mabula? Matole is a no. Harold Majadibo, Majadibodu. Majadibodu. That's sick. So Majadibodu is a backup right back. Um, he actually fits. He actually fits what we're trying to do. So we could sneak Majadibadu in and Tommy Songweni in, and then maybe we can sign one more guy. We'd be pushing past the wage budget, though. 
We would be pushing past the wage budget. Uh, we're under our wage budget right now. <laughs> By like $100. Uh, but we could go get Tommy Sungwenny and Harold Majabi Majadibadu. And then we're just like lone FC. Can't think of a better way to spend my time than being lone FC. Harold Majadibadu. 28-year-old right back substitute option. And Tommy Songwenny. All right, squad. Uh, final offers, all of you. U7. Transfer. Transfer offer options. Offer for loan, seven players. All right. Black Leopard show own interest in Sung Winnie. Yes, we do. What a deadline day. What a deadline day. Oh, they are cleaning up. All the other guys are under 21, so Pajie is the only guy we have to register until Tammy Sungwini and uh, Majadiba do. Oh, this is huge, dude. Unbelievable effort on deadline day. All under 21 players don't need to be registered, and a lot of guys we loaned in are, are at that. Uh, Patisi is worried about his playing time. Mukamela, okay, never mind. You don't have to talk to him. Good God, man. Can you lay my fears that Tommy Songwini's arrival won't affect my playing time? I can assure you, you're the only midfielder that was on my team that I like. You're the only midfielder that was on my team that I like. You will play. It'll be fine. Unbelievable that we were able to do that. All the prices just dropped, dude. All of the prices just dropped. How many loans do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loan players. Don't fall in love with loan players, but fall in love with this team because we are going to do something special. Wow, my dream team. This is, oh, this is just the best. This is just the best. This is just the best. All oh, the waves of realization when I was like, wait, we can keep doing this. And they dropped all their prices. And these guys just make like a ridiculous amount of sense to sign. Bagalela is going to go ahead and get a run in this uh, U19 match. But I think I'm going to start Lamuka next to uh, the other young kid that we have at Striker. Maybe I start him over Zulu. I don't, I don't know. We'll just keep cycling uh, free agent African dudes through on trial until we find the one that's perfect that wants no money. Duke, thank you for the year, man. I appreciate you, Arnold. Thank you so much for the three months. Caliber, thank you for the eight months. Seattle, thank you for the prime. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, for being a part of an elite online gaming. <laughs> See you in the sub section of the discord Zulu's banging goals yeah that's tricky I think well I think it's also you just signed the guy yesterday start him on the bench and you'll figure it out god we have depth now don't we hey guys guess what that's our formation uh so defensively we have edge of area for our for two trackers just to help us defend that part of the field because that's a very dangerous uh, thing that we're doing. Um, that's how we're going to line up. We are going to start Malidzi and Zulu. We are going to have Lamuka off the bench. Uh, he is better than Ramuzia. Uh, Melissa Ramuzia, who's going to have no issue with being uh, replaced as a substitute by Lamuka. Um, we have added Shadizo. Pajie, 
who is a tremendously talented Metsala style uh, uh, player. Pagie is going to take over the starting spot of Matole, but we really did like Matole. Um, and he is definitely going to be on the bench for Makanya because I did not really like Makanya. Actually, wait, Makanya is the guy I just didn't really know I had on the bench. He's the guy I, I liked. So Makanya is going to be there. Dlamuka and Indawonde and Makanya and Matole. Actually, there's room. All right, Cheslin Jampies is here. We move that out. Lepalala's off because Mukamela's moving up to that spot. So Mukamela moves up to that spot. Where's the center back we signed? Dude, he's st Lawrence, I keep playing him in these stupid reserve matches. Being an idiot. Okay. Um Oh wait, I have uh I have my new guy. Tommy Songwene. He can totally play that. Tommy Songwene, you're screening in front of the back line. Uh Pachie is there. Patsisi is there. Matole is there. Um I can honestly just get rid of Mkwanzi. I don't like Mkwanzi. We'll replace him with uh is it Tabang Mabena? It certainly wasn't Mavunla. That guy's buns. Um Indo. And Swane, we have so many strikers on our team, it's kind of nuts. Should I terminate his loan? No, there's no reason. Although, wait, is he expecting, like, regular starter? Might want to terminate his loan, because I don't think he's in my top three forwards right now. Uh, but he's also not clear. Fitness test not required. Oh, he's hurt. We'll play him in the next match. It's fine. Lepalala. Who'd been getting those starting runs early. We're definitely going to bring him up instead of uh, Nkwanzi. Lepalala started every game that we've played so far this year. And Majabodi is the right back sub. He's basically the sub for both fullbacks. So we'll put him in for Mareko. And then we have Mashego as our center back sub. Okay. That looks good, dude. That feels good. That feels like we have a good team. It feels like we actually have a good team now. I'm really, really excited. I, I'm, I'm tremendously excited. I know we fixed our defense. Oh no, I didn't have enough U23s. Oh, the tragedy. Makavu, is he that much worse than um than Muntali? He's actually not. Muntavi's got better command of area, but this guy's very much a competent goalkeeper. Our young goalkeeper, Mashudu Maklavu. I, I was bound to run into that. I made so many acquisitions on deadline day. I was bound to run into our lack of U23 players. Our strikers are all you uh youth players. I'll play Makavu instead of Montali. We'll see how that goes. Makavu's very, they're very close in ability. Sungwini. Then you have Sungwini, 22. Pajie is going to get 15. Majabodi is going to get three. Dom Luca is going to get 16. Just, just handing them out randomly. We don't care. Go and enjoy yourselves today. Yeah? We're finally playing after an, uh, a nice long deadline day where we've put a good team together. Let's go get him. <laughs> Clapping it up for the new boys. Let's see what we've got. Hosting Barocca in our giant vacuous stadium. Black Leopards FC. With a win, we do get into the potential promotion playoff. <laughs> the North Stand is bad. Look at that, dude. You got your own section to yourself. It's great viewing. It's a great viewing experience at a Black Leopards match. Just tremendous. All right, Cheslin Jampies. Tommy Songweni. Imbakoma. Zulu. We're already flying. Okay. Songweni absolutely busting to get back here. Oh, and he's... Oh, yes! Let's 
pump it up all 10 fans after making that play. Oh, Jampy's good work. Sungwene. Kumalo. Matsimbi. Sungwene. Surveying his options, perhaps. Sungwene. Oh, Malidzi. We cooked that deadline day. We absolutely cooked that deadline day. We're feeling swaggerific, Irasaga. Thank you for the prime. It's a real word. Definitely. Sangwini, he does already look like he's key for this team. He looks like he's holding it together. Uh, Imbacoma. Imbacoma. Namwera. Pachie. Pachie. Square it. Oh, it's Sandizo Pachie! A debut goal for the lone lead, Sadiso Pachie loans. He could have squared it. He didn't need to. On target with velocity. Kev Keys, thank you for the prime. Our lone army is going to conquer this second division. And some choice signings that we made. Mbakoma. Oh, give it back to Imbacoma. Imbacoma squares it. Malidzi. Combination. This team is a combination now of the two things I love. Loans and a talented youth player. Malidzi. Jampies. Cheslin Jampies. Nice. Kamalo. Okay. Songwini. Mokumela, Kumalo, Namwera, Matsimbi. Oh, he's got more. Oh, my goodness, it's Malidzi! Spitman, thank you for the prime in the five months, guys. We might actually be really good now. What is this? Doesn't look like our team. That was a really well constructed buildup. The 17 year old with the goal. Malidzi. It's 2-0 Black Leopards FC. I am the chosen one, chat. 27 years old, no badges, no playing experience, an early locker room mutiny, and we have pushed through. Hey, hey! Wake up, don't let him make that pass. No, it's wide open, wow. Where did Leka Lawane come from? Well, we can't let that happen again. Look out for Leka Lawane, dude. He was wide open at the penalty spot. He's just bad. So are we. Everybody on the field's bad. It's just levels. Pen, beautiful. We still do we have any better penalty takers now? No! How is that possible, dude? Um, uh, Zepaniah Imbacoma's. Technically slightly better, but we have no better penalty taker than a seven on our entire team. That should be impossible. It should be. Goal! Oh, yeah. Suey. Couldn't have said it better myself. This unknown manager that's been hired by Black Leopards FC. Well, he's found a real winning formula. Oh, nice tackle by Cheslin Jampies. Oh, my fucking is... Oh, nice save by Makavu, the young keeper. The 5'9 goalkeeper, Makavu, with a big save. Fun fact, the city of Tohoyandu, uh, Tohoyandu, which is where the Black Leopards play, so 69,000 people. Cool, so we can fill this stadium if we start to get going. No way Sungwini is hitting me with the Ronaldo build up here. He just hit me with the stance. He just did the Ronaldo stance over the ball. 
Oh, I didn't even pick up on the nice. Yeah, that was nice. 69K. Another pin. All right. Baroka just really want to hand us this match, don't they? Made myself a sandwich today. Even though I'm not training for a marathon anymore, it was a nice habit to get into. I was able to stream for longer because I was eating. Uh, grilled chicken provolone mustard. Namuera. Uh, do I hear five? Ooh, Matsimbi. Trying his luck. I will never discourage somebody from shooting from distance in this league. The goalkeeping standard, it's low. It's very low. And, uh, yeah, we, we're looking like a good team out there. <laughs> Saucy, thank you for the two months, dude. I appreciate it. Sangwini's older brother had a decent career. 29 caps for South Africa. Nice. Makavu might only be 5'9", but he used the force to pull that ball down. It was going over him, and then he just... What position were we expected to finish? Uh, we were 25 to 1, but we were bottom half of mid table, like 11th or 12th out of a 16 team league. We don't listen to people outside. You know, we don't listen to people outside the dressing room, though. We don't listen to people outside the dressing room. We listen to, you know, we, we listen to the people inside the dressing room and the 25 new guys we brought into it. Not 25, but... Oh, what a save by Mikavu again! Like, we've played well, but they should have at least a goal. Mikavu is actually... a stud. Mikavu is a stud. Bakoma? Oh, yep. Now, we didn't have the money to bring in 25 people, but we've done the best we could with, a, you know, loans and couple of extra signings and I, I identifying the talent on our team is really the key the guys on our uh, they were already on our team like Malidzi that needed to be playing oh in Bacoma Penn he really should have just crossed it he was desperate to try and beat that guy around the outside Sangwen he's coming too far over he needs to be there he got there, but he was coming too far over. Oh, way to knock it down, and it was an offside in there. Cool. Sick. I don't like that we got beat like that. We have a low back line and good center backs. We shouldn't get beat like that over the top. Great result, though. Jumped on him early. Looked like the better team. Great result. Yeah, there's only 30 matches in the entire league season. 30. Every match is big, so you just keep hanging up wins. Good things are happening. But GA, Sunwini, that's good. Great work. Great work. Very happy with the result and the way you played. You balled out. That was good stuff. Great way to play. And Bacoma on fire for the Black Leopards. You're darn right he is. 
Oh, now we play the number three team on the road. Let's go. Opportunity. It's an opportunity. Not possession. Defense. Train me some defense. Hi, guys. What's up? Satisfying to conclude the transfer business. This was no exception. This is for Sung Winnie. Yay! <laughs> Show league table, we're second. We have 12 points. Team at the top has 15. We haven't played them yet. Uh, that's Meritsburg United. You have to finish top to get promoted. Second or third, you go into a promotion playoff. Uh, so we are in the promotion playoff spot. We lost 1-0 at home to Uppington City during the, uh, during the big locker room fallout we were having. But we have upped our leadership support to average and our club atmosphere to good. Uh, so the more we can string that together, the more we can become mentality monsters, the better. Beautiful. Beautiful. This playlist anywhere? Dude, I swear it's it's fire. It is fire, but it's instant crush, just a radio. I don't know if I can like save the radio. Like download this radio, add it to my library. Because it is a sick playlist. Where's skin though? We're testing it. We just found out a we we just found a way to port it like into the new FM. So we're testing it to make sure that it's okay. All right. All of our trials of random dudes around Africa are coming to a close. Oh, this guy's so good. Khalifa Jabi. You got it. Uh, the star rating is going to be very different. He's slow, but he is huge and committed and a very technically talented defender. Very hard guy to play through. Very, very difficult guy to play through. Dennis Iguma of Uganda. Worth keeping an eye on. Yes. Uh, Walid Bakit Hamed of Sudan. Very advanced forward-ish. I right, put him right there. Babakar Toure. This is the Mauritania goalkeeper who is 35. It's actually not that good. Ismael Diakite. He's good. Usman Sila from Burkina Faso. He's a defensive midfielder. Mohamed Ahmed Adam. I just love the names. Ismael Sagre. Ooh. Oh, he's a, he's a man amongst children. He has one natural fitness. Look, he's got that Gareth Bale natural fitness. Look at that, Sammy. A lot of mustard in there. Slices of grilled chicken. You said it looked nice. I wanted to show it off. He's naturally unfit. So true. Does he have an agent? Uh, no. Um. Oh, I just really, I just, th I just think he's really neat. You know, I just think he's a real neato kind of guy. Uh, is this midfielder as good as we thought he was? 
Yeah, I mean, he's very good in the sense that he's well-rounded and can do everything, but he's not very good in the sense that he's asking for an insane amount of money. But hey, a lot of these guys, you know, they're not ending up on uh, they're not ending up on teams. Now, the longer they don't sign with other teams, the more likely they are to accept paltry low wages with us. Oh, this goalkeeper's good. He's he's actually good. Look, if you've been fired two times already, unless you were literally playing with the worst tactics of all time, your player acquisition is just bad. So I think you might be looking at the wrong thing. Uh, if you've been fired two times already, you can play a basic tactic, and as long as you're acquiring better players... Like, this save right here in the start of this save is a perfect example. Like, the tactic we have is obviously trying to make the most of the pieces we've been able to acquire, but... We've just made the team a lot better through our player acquisition. Right, like we've just gone out and made the team much better through the way that we've signed players. And that's like... That's just what you have to think about. Roadrunner, though, thank you for the 23 months. Now, I mean, that's like the serious answer, though. Player acquisition always trumps tactics. Like in a streamer showdown or something. Ooh, this guy. This guy with the strength and the size. Oh, oh he's stupid. Oh, he's dumb good. He's so good. The strength and the size and the speed. Nobody in this league is going to be able to handle this guy. No, he's free. Uh, does he have an agent? I don't know how much money you would ask for, though. Oh, it's not crazy. You should be granted a work permit upon appeal. Away home. Yeah, we didn't get him yet. Oh, he's good, though. Oh, he's so good. Tumelo Kutlong, also good. We just have to let, they just have to be free for longer. They'll get sad enough and they'll take the money. Matsuko's injury, it's a bad one. Malidzi's going to start. Absolutely. They were asking me about Malidzi's excellent training performances. He's going to start. He's totally going to start. Very disappointed. I'm not going to set a goal, Morocco, but you got to you gotta pick yourself up. This is huge. Leadership support to average, so they'll actually listen to me. Club atmosphere coming up to good. Our team cohesion is improving. Very difficult to have good team cohesion, but we are a professional team, so that, that helps. We can build it up, you know, training over the course of the year. We've got our tactics figured out. We're just, we're, we're in our trial farm era. We're always in our trial farm era. All right, you guys... And you guys. Never let you go. All right, let's take a look at the squad. Tux FC away. Hey, me and my little brother love watching your YouTube. Happy to have found your Twitch now. Yo, Nath. Welcome to the stream, dude. Shout out to you and your little brother. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Prediction for this match? Oh, the mods should be throwing one up soon. I think we'll win. Make the set piece changes. Okay, edge of the area. All good, all good, all good, all Gucci. Amukumela, Jampies, Matsimba. Um, yeah, this has been working for us. Let's just do this again. We do have Inswane, who's going to take Mashego's place on the bench. But I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Sad, baby. Oh, the Magalela guy is just good. He, he's just better than Makanya. He, he's clearly just better than Makanya. So Magalela should totally be on the bench as well. All right, boys, here we go. 
Take it on the best team that's not the best team besides us. Magalela, 26. Unswane, 17. Easy. Here we go. On the road, on the road, on the road. Trust you to make a difference. Hey, Rafik Namuera is happy about it. Oh, they have actual fans? That's not fair. They have fans? How come they get to have fans? Dude, Orbit College has no points through five. Sag. Here we go. Away against Tux FC. A real test of what we've got. Kumalo, Mbokoma, Selezulu, shaking and baking. Oh, Mbokoma, no, okay. Oh, nice. Selezulu. Selezulu. Malidzi. <sighs> Keep eating, Malidzi. Keep freaking eating, dude. Keep eating. He's off. He's off. Come on. Raise a flag, dude. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Not today, Satan. I will handle your 40 crosses. You will score nothing. <laughs> Liverpool's, wait, Liverpool is losing 2-0 to Toulouse right now. That, ooh. Uh, maybe we need to change the title of the stream, dude. <laughs> Yikes. I should have my, I, I should have to do my team talks for the South African. I can't do it. I just tried again. I, I, so, that's just not, I've never been. They usually am able to pick up accents of places that I've been, like English speaking places that I've been. I am like kind of weird about it. Like I, I'll sit in the cab and practice, but I've never been to South Africa. South Africa, it, like the way they say South Africa is a perfect way to get you into the accent, but I can't say it. I honestly think it's in the same branch as Australian and uh, like Kiwi, New Zealand. Nice save. I, I can't really pick those up either. I just have to watch District 9 a hundred times. That's fair. Can't get Scottish either. But Scottish is just like... And this is going to offend thousands of years of people. Scottish is just like really butchered English accent. No, that's American. Amer I, don't, I wonder what branch you'd put American on, you know? Like an American accent. Obviously, there are dialects in America, fairly distinct dialects with, like, the the Southern, and then you have, like, the New York-Boston contingent. But just the generic American. I feel like it is where, like, 
I'm upset. Uh, look, I, look I, 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 I said I was going to upset, you know, William Wallace is going to come out of the grave and beat me over the head with his own severed arm. Like, I, you know, whatever. But I, I love the Scottish accent. I love Scotland. I have so much fun there and have great friends there. My family's heritage goes back to there, back into the mists of time. But the, like, the accent and trying to do it, you just take English and just make it, like, super tort in Bacoma. Oh, good save. Do you ever want to know what a Minnesotan accent sounds like? Like a nice middle America, Minnesota, Wisconsin. All you have to do is say the word Minnesota. 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 It, those are America's Canadians. <laughs> That's like Minnesota and Wisconsin. Those are America's Canadians. I mean, they're right there, basically. Minnesota. Oh, let me just uh, slip right past you there. <laughs> so, it's, 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 uh, yeah. Does all of Canada, I mean, now of course all of Canada doesn't sound the same, but the Canadian accent is very subtle and then you hit one word and they're just like, skirt! And you're like, whoa! The word, specifically, it can be sorry. They do say sorry. But the word is usually about. You'll be talking and you'll be like, oh, they could be from anywhere. And then you're like, well, what are you talking about? And you're like, what? A boot? Like a boot. Oh, Malizzi! Oh, brilliant! In the 69th minute! <clears throat> Malizzi with the goal! And that's just what the doctors ordered. Really well taken by Malizzi. All right, a little more defensive. I'm going to bring in Tommy Songweni. He's going to move forward. We're going to bring up Mukamele, and we are going to bring up Lawrence Nswane, and we are also going to bring in, no, we're not, uh, that guy. Um, Cheslin Jampies will be fine. He's a big boy. He's not going to get too tired. Um... Any other uh, substitutions that we want to make? Lamuka. Lamuka's going to come in for... I was going to bring him in for Malizzi, I guess, but... No, that's the change. That makes this more defensive. Brilliant goal. <laughs> Alienated view more cultures. Am I... Dude, I'm from Florida. I'm an American from Florida. I'm the easiest person to make fun of on the internet, dude. Born and raised in Florida. Of Florida. A swamp person. I canoed to school. That's not even a joke. I canoed to school. Now you have Minnesota, you've got Canada. Uh, then you have Boston and New York, which I always thought sounded really similar which offends people from Boston and New York. But if you want to get like a really thick New York accent and you want to have like a phrase in it where you can just like recognize the sound of it, it's everybody's favorite. It's I'm walking here. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. You can always lay it on thick with that one. And then Boston has its own iconic phrase that you can all, that's like impossible to say specifically for people with a Boston accent, which is park the car in Harvard Yard. <laughs> coffee is another good one, yeah. If you ever hear somebody from America go coffee, they're from New York. Coffee. 
Uh, you have to do the cro uh, do the crocodile hands with it too. <laughs> I'm walking e. Was a heavy Italian influence, and so there's a lot of uh, Italians in New York, and there used to be more, but. Yeah, but Park the Con Harvard Yard is a very good way to remember that the Boston attitude. That sucks. What's up? 1-1. One, one. Um, well, we're having fun with accents time. I'm going to sub out my two midfielders and bring in Indawode as well, so we've got good energy for the final chase here. Oh, that's... That's... Yeah. That's what I get for starting a 5-9 goalkeeper, honestly. That is the one. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. My young 5-9 goalkeeper all out to sea. Yeah. And really, that's kind of it in the United States. I mean, there's very small dialect things that you'll pick up on, like the difference between a southern accent and Florida and Texas. You can notice if you've been around it a ton, but generally you're just going to be somewhere in here. Be talking like this. Oh, my goodness. Really, guys? That's hard done. And the vibes were so immaculate. And we give up a couple of cheap goals. And I'm five minutes late with that. Oh my goodness, no. Oh, let's go, Matole, no. Oh. oh my goodness, Malizzi got there. He just couldn't do anything with it. But he did get there. Hey, 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 hey I'm walking here! Well, he had a great game last time, but Makavu has not had a good match this time. That was a short-lived experiment playing our 20-year-old keeper. That's a tough loss. The vibes were up. That's a tough loss. Oh, actually put talks top of the league. If we'd won that, we would have been top of the league and we had the lead going in late. Or to say you might be angry after that performance or some good and some bad. You know what? I'm not doing this. Not after this. All right, well, we've played six matches, won four, lost two. That was away against a top three team in the league, and now we play Maritzburg. So after this, we should have a very easy run of matches because we have played a lot of the top teams in the league, I think. We've played a lot of the top teams in the league. That's Vigala Malid say, unhappy with the standard of strength coaching. Well, we did just get rid of a lot of our trialists. Oh, you're unhappy with the standard of the strength coaching. Well, there's nothing I can do to raise that, so. Not without, you know, causing mass catastrophe. So. Oh, there, there's the, uh, that. There you go. 
Almost made it worse on accident, but yeah, there, there's your strength coaching. That's what I can afford. We're third in the table on uh, goal difference now. We've got Maritzburg, which is an exciting match. As that's the team that's out of us. One of the teams that's out of us now. Uh, but uh, yeah, the hard, sorry. So I saw somebody mention this kind of right as we were getting uh, ruined there was somebody meant the hardest accent in the U.S. is Cajun. Like the hardest one for another American to understand what the person is saying is the Cajun accent, which is New Orleans. Because that is a real bastardization. Like the Cajun accent in New Orleans is just so messed up. Because it was owned by the French, and so there's a lot of French influence, and then it was part of the South, and there's a lot of Southern accent and influence, and then it's just, like, rural. You know, especially the swamps around New Orleans. Is Creole mixed in with that? I'm considering them the same thing. I would refer to the people as Creole and the accent as Cajun. I have no idea if that's right, but as somebody that's lived in the U.S. my whole life, that's how I would refer to the people and the accent. Does anything truly matter, Hera? Wow, getting deep. Getting really deep. I spent hours perfecting the training schedule. That does matter. Don't let anybody tell you that does not matter. Because it does. We have not tested our training yet, uh, but there will always be people that tell you that it doesn't because you can win the Champions League without micromanaging everything. You can. You can win in football manager without micromanaging everything. Because if your player acquisition is excellent, it will cancel out basically everything else. But micro... get Like... I always looked at football manager as you want to like, there are so many little things that can affect whether you win and whether you lose. You want to take care of those little things. You want to take care of all those little things and they will add up to something big. You know, you want to take a, you want to take care of all those little things and they will add up to a win. Like that's how you add up to winning. So that's uh, that the secret sauce to winning. That is how. All right, these guys are only going to go for 45 minutes because they got to play off the bench in the next match. Anybody that we are forgetting, Lawrence and Swane is going to get 45 minutes. Vincent Machega is cleared for a full 90. Okay. All that good stuff. And then we have trials coming to a close, which we already went through. And we probably need to trial some more dudes from around the African national teams just to take advantage of the opportunity that we have to do so. Okay, what about you? Poka Mofoking. What about you, Bantu Chingi? Why are you better than Poka Mofoking and it says Mofoking's a full... My scouts are so bad. Yusuf Jeppi. Lone. Yeah. Match prep. Dang it. Skipped it on accident. All right. So does the whole praising and not praising thing still work? Yeah, with the skin change? Nice. That's good. Well, you see, this is a little thing. This is a little thing. We're just trying to get a nice locker room boost out of telling guys that they're not training well or telling guys that they are training well. And that's it. Your scouts are unsure of the shape of the ball they used for the sport. I'm pretty sure they know that. I think that was the only question on our hiring questionnaire was that. Pretty sure that was the only question.
based off what I have seen from our scouting reports so far. Do you know what sport you are scouting for? Will you attend the appropriate match and not get distracted watching rugby? The Blues just scored again, by the way. They're up 3-1 on Liverpool. And we're clearly not focused coming into this game. Wow, Bayer Leverkusen is failing to beat Karaba. Hold on. You guys ready for something that you did not expect and didn't know was about to happen? You probably forgot this was even possible. Welcome to Zealand News, baby! Booyah! Check that out! The Europa League group stage is going down, and it's time to take a look at the results so far. Brighton and Hove Albion's beating Ajax. This is happening specifically because Ajax can't win a game. It's illegal. It is completely illegal for Ajax to win a game. That's why they're losing. Lask from Austria is beating Royal Union Sengiwa 2-0. Maccabi Haifa of Israel is beating Villarreal 1-0. The Spanish yellow submarine is taken on water. Karabag and Bayer Leverkusen locked at nil. How does that make any sense at all? It doesn't. Bayer Leverkusen is like top of the Bundesliga right now, but they're getting diced up. <coughs> Stad Rene. Up 3-1 on Panathinaikos. That's probably the only result that makes sense because Servette from Switzerland's getting barbecued by Sheriff Tiraspol. There's a new sheriff in town, I had to say it. Slavia Prague beating Roma 2-0. I guess Jose Mourinho was talking a lot of trash and the uh, footballing gods wanted to get him back. And then, of course, to lose. To lose. The French team up 3-1 on Liverpool, thanks to a third goal, they just scored a terrible mistake leads to a goal. Really? The defender ends up losing possession, allowing Frank Magri to pick up the ball before slotting it into the back of the net. That sounds like it was a rip-roaring good time. Now, if we go look at the standings of the group, after that result, Liverpool's still fine because they're not Manchester United, which full credit to them. Toulouse will be in second. Royal Union St. Gilwa fumbling the bag by losing to Lask. And Lask keeping itself alive after losing its first three matches in the group stage, trying to press onward. Matches later today. Ike Athens against Marseille. Atalanta against Sturmglatz. Uh, Real Betis and Aris. I actually don't know where Aris is from. Greece. Cyprus. Nailed it. Uh, <clears throat> Freiburg, Hocken, Rangers, Sporting, West Ham, Olympiacos. Any big clubs playing this morning down here? I suppose Fiorentina is winning against a representative from Serbia in the, the lovely Europa Conference League. Don't forget tonight, Klocksvik, the club I just visited, the Faroese club, Klocksvik, taking on Olympia Ljubljana, who Klocksvik, I watched them beat Olympia Ljubljana 3-0 in the Conference League group stage. And if you take a look at the standings, Klocksvik is actually super duper in with a chance because they have four points. Slovan Bratislava has six and Lille has seven. A win tonight and a win for Lille would put Klocksvik into second position. The first Faroese team to ever make a European group stage. That's it for Zealand News. Thank you for watching. I'm Zealand. The host of Zealand News and the Zealand News Network, part of the Zealand family of channels. Zealand News is back, baby. You probably forgot I had the ability to do that. All right, let's play a match. Let's do it. Uh, is this is this the team that the people want to see on the field today? I uh, know. I want in Swane. I want Sung Winnie movie. Actually, I, 
I'll start Song Winnie up here. Have him play as a center mid on. No, 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 no. I liked the way the team came out last time. I did. I liked the way the team came out last time. We'll let them do that again. Somebody said they didn't like Matsimbi last time, though, and they probably thought I didn't see that in the chat. So Matsimbi needs to have a good game. The fans are starting to hate on our right back. I expect to see a better performance today. I'm going to try and put a little expectation on him for the first time in a while. Oh, because we got a match in hand, we've slipped all the way down to sixth. Well, let's make this one count, baby. Hello, Maritzburg. Welcome to the Thunderdome. That's what we're calling the, the home of the Black Leopards here. Oh, Matsimbi. Great play by Matsimbi. Sungwini. Pajie. We we value everybody going for it from distance. We really do value. We value attempts from distance. Oh, way to battle. Way to battle. Zulu honestly should probably be making that run. Way to tie him up. Good. Good defense. No, dude. Oh, good step. Mukumela. Namwera. Namwera. Namwera, floated ball to Zulu. Sungwini. Oh! We're getting beat right now, man. Linux, thank you for the four months, dude. Oh, Brian, I haven't been here in a while, but I'm back. Love an FM24. I agree with that. Although there is the one issue with the players uh, starting riots over not having enough depth at a random position. Beside that, though, I stand by the video. Zulu, shoot it. Ah, that's better. That's better from us. That's old school Malidzi possessing the ball and giving us a chance. that Ajax is playing with five players up top. Oh, Namwera, brilliant. Rafiq Namwera, brilliant. That was absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, I had a joke lined up. So Ajax is playing with five players up top because they're following the Sir Alex Ferguson strategy of just keep putting forwards on the field until you win, but they just never win. So eventually their whole team is going to be up there. I play sideline with the height all the way down. Makes me feel like I'm in the match, but I can see tactically what's happening. I played on this for as long as I can remember. Oh, 
Oh, I don't like where we are. Good composure. That's a little freaky to be heading that back with that kind of pace. Makavu, though, has made some important saves. He's bounced back from his bad match. Oh, my goodness. Malizzi! Malizzi! A 17-year-old? Oh. I feel like we're just not getting back very well here, guys. We're we're just not like, what are we doing here? What what do we what is happening? I I just feel like we're not getting back very well. Um What is this off of? A deep free kick of all things? Like we just didn't. Where did this guy go? Apparently, he just, uh, you know, he didn't recognize that a potential catastrophe was brewing and decided to saunter back to his position at right wing. Wow, that sucked. Good save, but dude, how do we let that guy get through? Fizzy, thank you for the 31 months. I'm playing, yeah, I'm playing Meritsburg United. Aaron James, thank you for the 19 months, dude. Thank you for supporting the channel, being a part of the Elite Online Gaming. <sighs> Thank you. My goalkeeper is a rolling ecological disaster defending these set pieces. Makavu at 5 9, just flying out. No hope of getting there. Keep making them play around us. They're better than us, clearly. Keep making them play around us. Good. Bodies in the way. Bodies in the way. Just keep making them play. Steve, thank you for the prime, dude. Thanks for spending $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Off? Okay. Am I there? Oh, I am so there. Kamalo, look up. Just send it. That's what we're here for. We're here to send it. Zulu. Rafik Nwanera. Oh, my. Dude, this might be it. Imbacoma. Oh! 
Nakoma has rattled the woodwork. Well, that's still ours. Rafik Nwamera. Oh, Zulu, Zulu! What, desk? What? My desk has been getting caught on something. I don't know what it is, but now it's able to go up. Oh, I lie. I'm sorry that happened. Take some joy from San L.A. Zulu scoring an absolute screamer. But I am sorry that happened. Sub, 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 sub. Mbakoma off, Sungweni up. You know the deal. Mbakoma off, Sungweni up. Lawrence and Swan AN, Tendo, Mukamela moving up. And yeah. That's what we're looking to do. I'm going to bring in Lamuka for Molidzi because I think Lamuka is very talented. Molidzi is 17, and he's he's playing like he's 17 today. So let's get some quality up in the front of this line. Use the fact that we have actually some depth that we like. What a shot by Sanele Zulu. This guy only he scores bangers. He's like, yeah, let me size this up, shape it around the keeper, bar down, you know. This would be a very, very big win because this is one of the teams contending for the promotion spots. Oh, why are you biting? Why are you biting, Cheslin? So let me, let me replay that. Um, why are you biting? Dang, dude, that is just immediate pain. We had literally lowered our line of engagement, which would theoretically a higher line of engagement would make it more likely that Cheslin Champies would try and jump that pass. That's all you had to do last time, dude, was win that header. Oh, Leverkusen scored. Great holdout by Karabag, but... Leverkusen would be super mad if they didn't get the three points from that match. Oh, we got to be on that. Cheslin, all you had to do was head it straight. All you had to do was head it straight, man. That's all you had to do. Everybody was waiting for you to head the ball straight. The entire team was waiting for you to head the ball straight. These crosses are playing are actually just very well taken crosses and they're causing problems. Thank you. Not stop crosses, trap him inside. Leave him, leave him. Let him run to you and then pick him up. We, we don't, if we leave him, then we can deal with the overlap better. That's not even the overlap, that's the midfielder. Dude, you're, the, you're literally there first, Sunwini. 
Sangwini, you're too good of a player to be losing that ball. You're waiting for it. You're waiting for it. We're going to catch him on the counter right here. Here we go. Lamuka. Oh, that was lucky. That was just both sides being bad, and it came back to us. Namuera. Sangwini! Song Winnie. He says, what's up? I'm not changing anything. Sorry. I'm not changing anything. That is really well worked. We have one good passer on our entire team, and his name is Rafik Namwera. And he squares it up. Song Winnie makes a really nice run. Their back line's totally overwhelmed. Slots it home. Tommy Song Winnie. Brilliant for Tommy Song Winnie. Brilliant. Potsisi, you're coming in on the uh, left side. I'm going to make you... No, they're in the red spot. Um... Harold, you're coming in for Sepamit Simbi. We'll get fresh legs onto the field in a, any spot that we can. But we've been under siege all day. It's a miracle we're winning. They're just, we're not great in the air on the back line, and they are just murdering us with it. They are beating us over the head with it. They're like spamming crosses, and it's working so well. My 5 9 goalkeeper's doing that just enough. Good work, Makavu. All right. Rafik's not well. Oh my goodness, Lamuka. And Zulu! to ice the game! Goal! Oh, they can take the ball home, chat. They can, you know, they can take the ball home. I'll take the three points, you know? They can take the ball home. I'll take the three points. That's why we play direct. It doesn't look as pretty, but when you're playing at this level, somebody's going to make a mistake, and then it just opens right up in Sele Zulu. Liverpool scored again. Oh, congrats to them. But what a loss for me because I just enjoy making fun of teams. They've really gone and done it. Congratulations to Liverpool fans. That win basically guarantees top of the group if I remember the table right. Or not win, but that draw. Sorry, that draw guarantees it. Wait, it was Jarrell Kwanzaa that scored? No way. Taunton Towns, Jarrell Kwanzaa. They're VARing it. Okay. Jarrell Kwanzaa, Taunton Town Zone. What achievement did I get? The only stat that matters. You won a game with at least one total XG lower than your opponent. Nice. We call that one FMing FM right there. Well executed, lads. Well executed. All right, we gotta go fire up some trials. We gotta go find the beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's, that's that's a nice feeling, dude. Foot, you know, to FM FM. I do it. I do it for the people. I do it for the people. We're away against Lamazia. Wait, that. Hold on. Hold. On. Why are they called Lamazia? Do they just like, oh, let's pick a cool name. No goal? No, Jarrell. Oh, Jarrell. Oh, I feel bad for Jarrell, dude. I feel bad for my boy Jarrell. Always rooting for somebody that's out there with Taunton Town, you know? Always rooting for somebody that's out there with Taunton Town. Anybody on the South African national team that's not in a club? No. All right, we're just looking for uh, guys that are free agents here. People we can offer a trial to. Nobody from Zimbabwe, Angola. 
Guess not. I think the better way to do this would be this. Oh, there we go. Oh, Colin, dude, there's no way. It never hurts to ask. Collins Fi, do you want to play for me? Eswatini, hey, that's not a long road trip. What do you think, Jose Machado, Mr. Eswatini left back? See, everybody thinks I'm named after New Zealand. I'm actually named after the former country of Swaziland, uh, otherwise known as Swaziland. Nobody ever gets it right. They always think it's New Zealand. It's kind of, you know, honestly, I start to get a little offended. A little ridiculous. So nobody, uh, nobody picks up on that, but, you know, whatever. I've learned to bounce back. I don't, don't think we're getting any more. Hey, 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 look, 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 look. 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 Hakeem. I have the opportunity of a lifetime for you right now. Hakeem. I promise you will play every game. This isn't Chelsea. Every game. Wait, what is going on? Something's weird with his contract. He's at Galatasaray. He's just worth zero dollars. Well, boo you. I thought you were free, Hakeem. I was building up this whole thing. I was building up the confidence to ask you to the prom. And then you're not even available. What is this? This torture. Would have been perfect. Hey, Burundi, I've actually watched them play before. A very, very deep YouTube rabbit hole. Gabon! You got any, uh, you got any more Obama things lying around? Bolton Amwinga. Sounds good to me, boss. Um, Seychelles. Really? Nobody from Seychelles? Well, now I just feel like an idiot. Yeah, well, Algeria is probably a little optimistic. But Swana, come on, you're in Southern Africa. You got to have somebody for me. Florentine Pogba. Got to love when you're not good enough to play for France. Am I right, brothers? But your brother is, and it's just a little too obvious. Somalia? Oh, come on. Abdullahi Hassan Abdi. Zaid Farah. These guys are ready for the big time. Dennis Iguma, uh, didn't he reject me or something? The Equator Guineas. My favorite. Liberia. Always suspiciously American names. Only foreign capital named after a U.S. president. Monrovia, Liberia. Just stop looking up the history after that. <laughs> Nothing else happened. Now, uh, Liberia was created by the United States. For those that didn't know. <laughs> We're just that cool. I don't think that's enough. I think we probably got 30 guys now. History lesson with Zealand. Namibian Ananias Gebhard. Oh, he's playing for Barocco. Oh, nice. So his trials were canceled. You guys. We'll do one month and then try it again.
So you're telling me Joseph I do doesn't want to play for us? I don't believe you for a second. Yo, there's a dude named Esteban, let's go! There's an Esteban! We finally found the guy they were trying to call. Collins Fi said no. Well, that makes me sad. Let's get the lads in, though. Oh, Florentine Pogba. Well, I mean, I probably should have known he was going to be a little too good. I mean, he would be the best player in the league. I think he would very clearly be the best player in the league. This poor guy at Mauritania is not even good enough to play in the second division of South Africa. That's tough. Zaid Farah. Benjamin Doe. That guy's from uh, Liberia, I think. Jose Machado's the Iswatini guy. Mutong. Ndazione. Bolton Amwinga. Tertius Wiezeb. Tertius. Sounds like a name I would have come up with when I was eight, making a Crusader Kings character. Sir Tertius. Sorry, that, that dude's walking around somewhere and his name is very much Tertius, and I, I don't mean any offense by it. It just translates funnily into my language. I'm, I'm very sorry. Be a great Roman. Tertius. Tertius Maximus. <laughs> Be an adult, man. Florentine Pogba on trial. Woo! Do, 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 do. That was a good batch of trialists, too. Okay. Let's go back and do the rest of them. As we were close. Um, so South Africa, schedule, fastest way to get there without typing. Then we go stages, then we go group nine, then we go to Chad. Take the four guys Chad's got. I'd love to have a Chad on the team. Comoros. Oh, dude, Nasser Khamed is actually good. That'd be pretty sweet. I think Ghana's got anybody. Did, 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 did. So that, we, we should have enough room for those guys. Fit them in on a trial, and then we're basically trialing everybody else. New intermediary suggestion. Oh, it looks good. Let's send our scouts. They're not doing anything else. Did, 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 did. Sweet! We're trialing every free agent from every African nation. This is what it's all about. City of Rune. Okay. Wow. Now all of a sudden we find the bad ones. Look at Nas. Dude, he would be so good at this. Oh. Oh, he would be so good in this league. Can't believe you guys aren't up to date on your Comoro star players. That guy was sick at AFCON. Oh, Makavu just got food poisoning. That's my goalkeeper. <laughs> no! Not my goalkeeper! I know Nasser Khamed's playing in the Romanian League. Wait, really? Am I going to keep running or take a break? Well, you're supposed to, like, not run for at least a week. I'm actually going to keep running, though. And I have no better reason other than the fact that I can run, like, 7 to 10 miles really comfortably, and I just don't want to lose that. That's just, like, cool to be able to do. And, you know, I have some friends that w watch the marathon, and they're like, oh, they want to run the half. And I'm like, okay, cool. I can crank out a half marathon really comfortably, which is wild to be able to say because I never really ran before. But I definitely am going to try and keep it up. I think I'm just going to run a lap at Central Park a couple times a week, which is, like, 6.8 miles. I think I'm going to just do that. Try and keep it sharp, you know? 
You know, you use it, you lose it. Yeah. And I can also eat whatever I want while I'm running. So I like being able to just eat chocolate and fried chicken and then it goes away. Not, I don't recommend that, kids. But if you're going to do it, run marathons. Right? If you run a marathon, then nobody can tell you not to do it. It's kind of awesome. You know? Kind of sweet. Do, do, do. All right, we're away against La Masia. We're finally playing a team that's, like, not great. My mom in the chat. Mom bot. Well, you could eat healthier. Yeah, well... Congrats on completing the marathon. Thank you. It was one of the hardest things I've done in my life, mainly because I was getting over a cold and got absolutely crushed by a uh, double barrel cramp at about mile 10. It's a real shit. Like, I wish I'd run it at a different point because, like, three weeks out, I ran 21 miles and felt great. I, I wouldn't say I felt great, but, like, I ran the whole thing confidently at, like, 11 minutes a mile. And the marathon, I got hit with the double barrel cramp, and I was like, okay. How about we don't do that? Do, 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 do. I'm going to bring in Matole because we don't have our goalkeepers, so Matole is going to get the start. Pagia is going to be coming off the bench, but Matole is already... Matole is a real offensive threat, and this is a game where we could have more of an offensive kind of output, you know. I'm going to put him on that Mez roll. Everybody else good? Yep. All right, here we go. Want to win every match? This is no different. Now have fun today. Lift the pressure. Have fun out there, lads. What is your time? Five hours, 29 minutes. In six seconds. It's an average 1230 mile. My first like 10 miles were about what I wanted my race pace to be. They were about 1105, 1110. Then both my quads cramped up really hard. And after that, it was like Bear Grylls survival channel or discovery channel survival mode. Finish the race so that you don't embarrass your entire family who's traveled halfway across the country to watch you run this stupid race. You know, normal, normal Tuesday. Do you ever have the opportunity to be in New York on Marathon Sunday, though? It is a spectacular experience. Literally over a million people line the marathon, and it's just like a giant party. It's honestly, oh, you're almost jealous while you're running. You're like, that looks fun. Dude, I was, I was cramping so bad I was eating p mustard packets. Like, mile 16, I had my friends bring me mustard packets. And I just grabbed them and did two shots of mustard packets. Because that helps with cramps. And then kept going. That would have been nuts. Get out of here. There we go, Matole, very quick. Connect the pass, just, oh, hit it in the air. Hit it in the air, Sungwini, good movement. Malidzi, there's an opening in the middle, it's Zulu! Am I running the marathon next year? If, if friends that haven't run the marathon before want to run it again, I will run it with them. Otherwise, I will never run another marathon again for the rest of my life. <laughs> Feel very comfortable with that. I ran it. I'm good. But if my friends who have never run it before wanted to run it, I would run it to like, hang, you know, go through that experience with them. One of the people I ran it with this time had run it before. Everybody I ran it with this time. I had three other friends running it. Oh my dude. What in the cheddar cheese is that? Larger, thank you for the 31 months. That ball was in the air for an hour, Montali. Just come get it, man. Just come get the ball. 
Max, thank you for the eight months. Goal! Not for long, bro. Cheslin Jampies says, what's up, homie? Sailing through the air, Cheslin Jampies. Oh my goodness, the corridor of death is still somehow a thing. It literally is still a thing. That I, I, I just saw it with my own two eyes. The corridor of death is still a thing. Yes, Cheslin Jampies is the dude's name. Is it pronounced that way? Probably not, but we prefer to think of him as Cheslin Jampies. Not seem be. Well, that took a deflection. Why are we, why, are, why, why, why Zulu? Why? You're a bag man this year, but why would you touch that? What's the point? What are you achieving? Oh my, dude, can they just score an actual goal, please? I literally in my pre-match prep focused on corner defense. Not that you'd be able to tell. I have my taller goalkeeper in today. This isn't supposed to be happening. What is that ball, Mentali? That's, the, we, we have a narrow midfield on that side. There's nobody there. What am I supposed to do about that, Doug? My goalkeeper just kicked it on a goal kick to no one and then proceeded to get beaten near post by an own goal. I have no solution to that. We just gotta, it's just gotta stay chaotic. The chaos has gotta come to us. We've had the better goal scoring chances. We've given up two goals off corners and then that. All right, this is way too much fancy passing. We need to just hit the ball up. That works, Simbacoma, uh, okay. They, they, you're not gonna score from there though. Simbacoma, you gotta, you gotta attack and cross or do something else there. All right, you've been very unlucky. Two set piece goals and a ridiculous own goal on the other side of things. Our goals have been very well worked, at least in terms of the tactic and what we're trying to achieve. So let's just stay chaotic, but not for, you know, not push it too much. That was a nice hit by some Winnie. How come they aren't easily exposed by the corridor of death? Oh, nice ball! And Bacoma, good luck. Malizzi got to the right place. Mom, I'm scared. Thank you. Cheslin. Now we've got two goals off corners. How you doing? Very strange game for Cheslin. He's got a hat trick if you include his own goal. And he has two goals off corners because he's a big boy. He is basically our only aerial threat if we're not starting in Zoe. Okay, we're 
good. Mentali saved that. Casual 3-3 three, three going down into one day. Oh, my goodness. It's always out of order. All right, into one day, you're there. Freddy Matola, you're coming out for it. Sediso Pachie. Um, Song Winnie is coming out. We're going to bring Mukamela up, and we're going to bring in Insawe, Inswane, which I probably should have done after the first set-piece goal. Or all of the other set-piece disasters we've narrowly avoided in this game. All right, and Swane, you better be eaten in the air on this, dude. Mukamela, okay, fine. Well, don't get shredded. Oh, my. Is he on? Are you joking with this game? They have four goals, and they have not scored a normal one. <laughs> Where it? Dang it. Mucamello, what? Now you're an offensive player? What are you doing? Now you're an offensive player? Get over yourself. Uh, some Kello de Lamuka is coming in for Zulu. Mucamello is the guy that got absolutely cooked on that carry through, which was unfortunate. Um,. Harold Maja... Maja Dibadu. Easy, easy for you to say. Harold Maja Dibadu is coming in at right back as well. And we're bringing in to Lamuka because he's just a... I, I know he likes Zulu and I know he scored in this match, but... Lamuka is really, really explosive. Oh, man. If I have to look at them on a corner one more time, seriously... I feel like they played the whole match on the corner and still have the issue where we're not getting anywhere near that to close it down. I mean, it's just been... They, they haven't gotten after us from open play one time. That might be the closest they've come, but it's just us, us being horrifically positioned for the throw-in. Yeah, just leave him alone, dude. Even when he gets the ball, honestly, just leave him. Check out this highlight. Well, that's a great header. Well chested down. Oh, man. This is what happens when we try and connect shorter passes. We do that. No one day. Just hit it long, dude! What are you doing? You're clearly not good enough to be doing anything else. Just... Guy's able to get the pass out through a double team. Absolutely embarrassing stuff from us today. The two on four there. All right, into one day. Hit the ball forward! Hit the ball forward! That's not what you're on the team to do. All right, you're not you're not the passer that Rafik is. Just hit the ball forward, man. Just hit it forward. I can't I like I can barely tell you to do anything more to hit that ball forward. 
Man, our substitutes have been bad. All right. Try and make a little chaos happen in the last couple minutes. This is an extremely frustrating match. Again, losing 2v1 at the back post. We're a defense first team, and that was an atrocious commitment performance, like an atrocious defensive performance. That was really, really bad. We did not check in. We did not tap in for that at all. That was really bad. We are a defense first team that got absolutely run over. I'm gonna yell at uh, him. I'm gonna yell at Lawrence and Swane, who came in and was then bad. So shout out to him. I'm gonna buck your ideas up, Buster. Pagie was also bad. We can criticize his last game. We had no creativity, and Lamuka came in off the bench, and I'm gonna criticize his last game too. Some Kello Lamuka, just just bad. We get back to winning ways, okay? That's that's like, we'll get back to good defensive ways because I feel you know we've only had one clean sheet all year. This has just been chaos all over the place, chaos all over the place. Yeah, you can't find this year. Can't find for poor performances, although some performances on the field may or may not have deserved it after that game whatever harold thank you for the 34 Woo! months i appreciate it so a staff meeting okay my fortnightly staff meeting ninja just parachutes in You guys been playing on the new four? I the thing is, I never really played Fortnite. I played it socially, but I never. I I probably have less than a hundred hours in Fortnite in my life. But is the bounce back to the old map been good? Hundred more than me. Fair enough. I mean, it's still, but a lot of people played it. Like Fortnite is an iconic game. And I understand it, and I've watched other people play it, and I... When I lived with a bunch of other dudes in college, we, we had, like, one TV that was for Fortnite. To specifically play flirt, uh, Fortnite. I know, she knows. I'm proud to say I have zero. I mean, there's, a, like... I know the game is often associated with like, oh, 12 year olds, but I mean, so is FIFA, right? And I think FIFA's probably worse. We better be winning this match, though, because we, uh, we were playing a mid table team last time, but this is at home against one of the worst three teams in the league at the er after the early going. We played what? Eight matches, won five, lost three. Come on. We're better than that. We are better than that, especially with the talent we've been able to bring in. We're better than that. Maybe. Any uh, particular reason everybody decided to be bad in training? 
Or you just all got together and came up with a plan? Do, 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 do. I just clicked on the wrong thing. Yeah. I've been playing a ton of NBA 2K recently, and I would love a FIFA game by 2K. I don't know. I mean, like, the, the culture around the NBA is just very different, too, you know? The culture around the NBA is very different than the culture around like FIFA and they, like that translates to the culture around 2K, right? So the culture around both is just very toxic, but in, in very different ways. To love is the same. All right, Sonelli Zulu, ready. Match against City Rovers, please and thank you. Wait in, wait in. Oh, uh oh. So I think that highlighted the need for Inswane to be a starter and then Mukamela to be the defensive midfielder. And then that moves um, Sungwini up to that spot, Matole. Somebody's getting bumped off the bench, and I think it's LaFala. So we need a center back, which is going to be Machego. Oh, Zulu's not 100%. Well, that's a good excuse to start Glamuka. Okay, so Nambuera, Glamuka, Mulidzi, Songwini. Should be better at eating up space with Mukamela and Songwini down in that midfield spot. There should be absolutely nowhere to go for the other team. Lamuka will be fine. Come on, man. You're a good player. You'll be fine. Relax. Here we go. Back to winning ways. We've lost two of our last three. I don't like that trend. I don't like it. After all the changes we made to make the team better, somehow we're doing worse. We weren't initially. First match we, pay, uh, we played, we blew the doors off the team we were playing against. Now? <sighs> hey, we've got more fans there. That's more than last time. That upper deck's looking good. Nice, Kamalo. Oh, good ball. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that is so good. Malidzi again in Swane, who I just brought in. Malidzi able to get it under control, chests it down, strikes it into the ground. That's why you send the ball forward. That's why you send it forward. And of course, we get an injury. Well, I mean, we have the ability to replace that. Majidabudu. Majidabudu, you're in. And Swane, Lamuka took a massive deflection, but we're okay with that. This is what we needed. This is the match that we needed. Hey, Kilney, and thanks for gifting a sub, dude. Thanks for making somebody's day. I appreciate you gifting the sub. Ah, the, the anime wow is for you. Nene, Swane, 
Chalke. Somebody got in there. And Swane. Good. Good play, in Swane. Trying to turn you into a starter, in Swane. Make me look smart for it. How did this team finish uh, last last year? Hey, we've, we've overhauled the team. You know, we brought in a lot of fresh faces and we've come up with a lot of ideas, a lot of tactical concepts to help us as a team. And Bacoma took a knock, but he's recovered. This is a classic us game. We're not a volume team. We're a team that just creates really good chances. We've created one really good chance and then... Obviously, one was just take a shot, send it back in, and see what happens. Oh, hit it. Just hit it up. Oh, just hit it up. Oh, hit the ball up in the air, dude. All right, Sung Winnie Madlidzi. Sung Winnie. Love him sitting in that pocket. Maja Dabudu. Imbakoma. That's perfect. We just want to send the ball forward. We want to make our mistakes going up the field. That's why we are on the highest level of directness. We'll get him become off the field after uh, halftime. Ooh. Ooh, Sung Winnie. Did you see how they didn't get relegated last year? I would, no. I would assume it was just there were more teams in the league and they were changing the number. Because there are only 16 teams in the league now and this team finished 16th. The team we're managing. The team that offered me a job that had faith in me. All right, so we do have Magalela, who's going to come in to play that right side position. I waited till halftime to make the sub, but Zepania Imbacoma, his day is done. They bought the license of another team? Oh, wow. So they didn't get relegated because they bought the license to stay in the second division from another team that wasn't relegated. That sound, you know, that's a little against the spirit of fair play. That's kind of hilarious, honestly. I I have to respect that. Look, it, it, stay in the second division at any cost. They found the cost. How is this still in the game? How is this still in the game? We've got two guys marking this guy. We have two guys marking this guy. We've got one, two for these two guys in the short play in. And yet this guy who's allegedly covering that is nowhere. And we've got my short right back defending. Definitely not a short guy at the back post. This is the corridor of death. It's existed in football manager for years. There's no logical explanation for it, particularly now when we have this freaking set piece thing. Because this doesn't classify as a long throw defending situation. Because we don't have three people zonally marking at the edge of the box. And so every year I have to have tall fullbacks. Jordi Alba in the mud. You have to have tall fullbacks or else you're going to give up a couple goals a year on that play. Oh, get in, Glamuka. Oh, get in, Glamuka. He scored two of the exact same goal. He scored two of the exact same goal. What a what a what a what a lad, Simkelo Dlamuka. This one wasn't deflected. He just passed it sharply into the bottom corner. All right, Dlamuka, I see you. Well, the terrible performance for my other goalkeeper means Makavu is probably just going to be my goalkeeper for the rest of the the season now unless he has a bad spell. But this is the type of performance I wanted. 
not quite as dominant statistically, but on the scoreboard, this is the type of performance I wanted. All right, we're all in exactly the position we need to be. Good. Kamalo. Oh, see, that's perfect. Force him to go all the way back and defend and make them work their way up through pressure that they can't work their way up through. Nemuera, Malid. Oh, Dlamuka! <laughs> Going for the hat trick. New set piece routine drives me crazy. Do you guys leave it to your coaches? I leave it more to my coaches, but I have made some changes. Like, you need to leave one or two people watching the edge of the box defensively because that's a very dangerous place for the ball to bounce back to. That was pretty. That was, like, unusually aesthetically pleasing from us there. Just a cheeky little running ball to Nemuera. Um, Anybody else just exhausted? Sangwini is not feeling it. Well, good news. I've got Shadiso Pajie off the bench. Uh, Cheslin Jampies is like, I don't know how I'm feeling. But GA yeah, just subbing in, trying to sprint towards it. Oh, nice save. I thought that was going to get over him. Plotter, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you being a part of the Hammers. Storm, thank you for the prime. Thank you guys for spending $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Oh, Dlamuka! Oh, my God. He can't get himself a hat trick, can he? Sam Kello Dlamuka. Mucha Mello. Yeah, a lot of things about FM24 are a lot better. They just didn't fix everything, and they added one annoying new feature which is the team, you know, the team up at arms about some random position that you don't have enough depth at or whatever. But I think with a lot of locker room support and a great locker room, like as long as you win, you can cure all ills. We overcame that locker room revolt we were faced with. Oh, Nemuera. That was good. That was good defensive recovery all around. Should be an easy save from Kavu. Needed to put three points back on the board. We we don't want to lose touch with uh, the, the top of the table. And Lamuka's couple of shots have been important. Namuera, Pachie, Magalela. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Namuera kept it in. Magalela! Magalela! Magalela was dribbling with a capital D. How are you finding the game? It's a lot better than last year's. Only two frustration points for me. The, the corridor of death for throw-ins is still alive. And the, uh, the thing I was just talking about, the team meetings over lack of depth at a position that can ruin your locker room atmosphere. Other than that, I think it's a massive improvement. Nomura. I mean, I made a video saying as much. Which means I'm I'm a shill now, guys. How far we've come from making a football man uh, making a video about how football manager lied. <laughs> the keeper injuries are driving me crazy. Yeah, but it's realistic though. Keepers can get hurt in real life, and they just didn't get hurt in uh, in football manager. Well done, guys. A good 3-0 win right there for the Black Leopards. Keeps us right back in contention and knocks City Rovers all the way down to, well, they're in last. So, a match we had to win. <laughs> a match we did win. Matsimi's out for a month with a particularly vicious groin strain. Oh, now we play Magessi FC, who are in 15th. I told you, we've been playing all the top teams in the league. It was time we started to play the bottom teams. Now we're playing all of them. Ah, the trials are coming up today. Let's go. Benson Shilongo. He's okay. 
But I think there was a few of these guys that were like really good. Kingsley is not one of them. Shimongo Kayira, also not one of them. Ananias Gebhardt, definitely one of them. 35-year-old Namibian, but he is on a team right now. Unfortunate. Tertius! Tertius Yusub. Yeah, you're not it, though. Bolton Amwenga. Just because he plays fullback, maybe. I'm so sad that Tertius wasn't good. That's really unfortunate. This guy's got good pace. Dacione. Mutong. Yeah, sorry, you're just not a good enough striker. Dennis Chimbezi. I think we can see enough to know you're not good. Jose Machado, no. Limbicani Imzava. You know, he's not actually that impressive, considering what they've rated him four out of five stars. Gerald Peary Jr., also not that impressive. Thought you guys were better. Ooh. Ooh, this guy. He's 5'2". But he is fast. And he's virtually impossible to keep in front of you. Once he gets shifting back and forth with the balance, the agility, the acceleration, he can just explode right past you. He's got the creativity to use it. But he has one strength. Wangu Gome. He's not the he's not the perfect player we're looking for. Now Florentine Pogba is. I, I'm just gonna be square with you. Florentine. Oh my goodness. This es Esteban. Wow. Esteban, the meme named center back, actually the real deal. Okay, Florentine Pogba is far too good under any circumstance to ever end up on our team. And yet, we have the opportunity to negotiate with him. Surely not. Surely not. Sh I mean, surely. Surely Florentine Pogba's not about to end up on my team. Surely he's not. Someone's going to get an offer in on him. There's no way. There is no way we're the only... That's the message. Now, the work permit, it said he would be granted on appeal. I was reading. Imquinazi just got a month and a half injury. That sucks. Uh, guys, it hasn't happened yet. Guy, Florent, it, it, it has not happened yet. This dude was playing in the second division of France last year. I was expecting him to ask for like 300000 a year. That would have been totally reasonable. And I would have been like, yeah, that makes sense. But he's like, no, 50000 a year. That's totally fine. Okay. Are you all right? Are you emotionally? Has something bad happened to you? Do you want to talk about it? I think all those trials are going to get rejected. No, they're not. Okay, cool. Because all the other trials are ending. I didn't know if it would be the, uh, able to tell that. Some good potential players uh, coming through this one as well. Lapo, Dude, nobody else is offering for him. Are we about to sign Florentine Pogba to play on the back line? Is that actually happening right now? Because he's very much an actual player. I'm a little uncomfortable. What did I miss? Well, what have I missed? Florentine Pogba, really? Will, will he be on the field with us against Magezi FC? Is the question.
Are we going to have Florentine Pogba with us on the field in this next game? Oh, a wide target man, a natural wide target man. And then there's Nasser Khamet, who is a tremendously accomplished and versatile player that we would love to make a part of this team. I doubt we're going to be able to put the money together to offer him what he wants, but he wants to play as an attacking midfielder. I can give him that. We're allowed to offer him the money. Upon appeal, he should be granted a work permit. Okay. We're allowed to offer him the money, dude. Um, season landmark combined goal and assist bonus, 4.4K as long as you hit that mark. It's got to lessen your uh, wage impact here, Brohim. Um, minimum fee release clause to foreign clubs, $0. He's okay with that. All we have to do is dodge like January offers for Nasser Khamed and he's down too. Dude, are we about to make two massive signings? Because nobody has offered for either of them. Nobody has offered for either of them. Like, uh, this is, this, this is significant. This is very significant. I wonder how long the work permit process takes. What is that, um, target and promise? Pod CC. Dude, he accepted it. Look at the date, though. What? They don't decide until the 17th of November? I guess we only have two matches until then, but, like, what? They don't decide the work permit until the 17th of November, but we have submitted a work permit application for Florentine Pogba to play for Black Leopards FC in the second division. We just signed Nasser Khamed, too. I... I don't know what to tell you, man. I do not know what to tell you. We we just signed Nasser Khamed and Florentine Pogba. We're massive. We're massive. A guy that was a star turn at the AFCON with Comoros. Paul Pogba's brother, who is a second division French player every day of the week and twice on Sunday, has just decided it's time to come play in the second division of South Africa because we found him. Dude, it pays to scout the free players in Africa. It pays. And I don't deserve credit for that. That is a strategy that my brother has come up with. That is something in every save that Adler does. He scours the free players in Africa. He loves to do it. He's always done it. And he was telling me, he's like, dude, you should do that in your save. I was like, yeah, I might try it. And uh, there it is. Totally worth it. Unbelievably worth it because we just signed two superstar players for our team. Adler's clear in FM ability. I mean, clearly, clearly. Adler's Ad Adler's got me covered in the in the FM sphere. Uh, he's got good ideas, though. Adler, if you think I'm a trial monster, Adler is a trial maniac. He is an obsessive trialer. And I one day Matole's down here. What's Matole doing down here? You guys get out in that reserve match. Stretch your legs out. Kick a ball around. Can we get an Adler SYS? No, he hasn't started a save yet this year. He's working on the Faroe Islands video right above, like, right up there right now. Might seem be gone. Ajobidu takes that spot, and then we go to Mareko to 
help out our bench and our defense and we look at the starting team and that makes sense Zla Zulu Sinele Zulu is going to start over Lamuka but Lamuka it's just because Lamuka's tired all right we're going to switch back to this tactic and go with Sung Winnie here as a box-to-box -box player, and then Pajie is going to be a Mitsala, and Majidibudu uh, is going to be on attack on the right side. And Mbakoma and Magalela both don't don't both need to be on the bench, so we're going to have Mbakoma go here, and then we have an open spot on the bench for Lepalala. He's going to be there, and I think we're ready to go. Yeah, let's do it. Unless we accidentally had a close down on. I don't really have a super aggressive fullback. I don't think so. Let's do it. Away against McGessy FC. Oh my. They've lost all of their last five matches. Well, I suppose we've only won three of our last five, so we're not... Yeah, we're not the overwhelming favorite. They're on six points from nine matches. This is one of the team, you know, we played the team that only had one point from its first eight. Now after nine matches, this team has six points. They're in the relegation zone. Black Leopards FC, super not, which we're proud of. Oh, Cheslin, nice step. No need to chase, no need to chase. Drop, drop, good. Step forward to cut it off and then get our shape back. That's perfect. We pull teams forward once we get our central midfield behind their central. Dude. <laughs> well, that's a bit of an issue. Um, Cheslin's going to go over there. Uh, not Morocco, uh, Mashego. Cheslin Jampies is going to play over on the right now because both of my right backs have picked up serious injuries. It's always the same. It's always the same position. Oh, don't fumble that. Ref, goodness. I mean, that's just a body check. Oh, Clocksveek are losing. Come on now, boys. Come on, Clocksveek. Show some resolve now. Kamalo. Cheslin Jampies. Mukumela, who was the other option to move into left back, but it, you know, I, I wanted to keep a more solid center midfield setup than we've had. Mashego, Mukumela, Mukumela. He's got Zulu. Oh my goodness, he caught that on the nose. That was a rip. Probably too hard for clocks being outside Iceland. Well, good thing they're from the Faroe Islands. Much warmer there. Mukumela, oh, square it! That hit the post! That hit the post! Oh, Mukumela. Nice. Nice work. Friggin' center back there. Guy who had been playing center back up until two matches ago. Oh, that's not good. How is he so tall? Why is everybody so tall? The right wing just towering over my team. You wait until I have Florentine Pogba and this won't be so fun anymore. Oh, and Swane. Oh, and Swane. Well won, well won. That's just a good save. Oh, way to get on that touch. 
But GA, oh, what a pass to Zulu! Good pass by Pajie. Pajie with a very, like, we got to remember that. Credit to Pajie for opening that up. That was a dime. Zulu just clattering. Uh, Pharaohs is lovely this time of year. It was gorgeous. It's just a little cold for my Floridian tastes. Nice hit by Komalo. All right, Mishago. I, I, I remember two woodworks, but that was our best chance that we've had in the game. Oh, my goodness. But Leedsy nearly just scored the goal of the season. You've been the better team. Keep doing what you've been doing. Namuera's not having a good game, so we might need to switch it up there. I could bring in that winger at attacking midfield. He can play that position. It might be the best way to keep our talent out there. Namuera. Oh, that's fine. Sanguini's there. Zulu. Oh, he was offside. Do fans exist in Africa? Dude, I'm going to be straight with you right now. If you ever have the chance, watch World Cup qualifying extended match, like, like, you know, highlights from Africa. Some of the wildest fan experiences you will ever see. I, Liberia scored a winning goal with like 30 seconds left. Dudes were climbing up a chain link fence on the field. Like, they're, they're insane. They are absolutely insane. I will not hear any slander to African fandom. They go hard. We'll make those two subs early. We're, we're going to bring in Lamuka. We're going to bring in Mbakoma for uh, Nwanera at the attacking midfield spot. We need, to, uh, we, we need to find a way to score a goal in this game. They're not giving it to us. And this is a team we should be beating. Now, all of a sudden, of course, we're playing like a nil-nil sort of match, but... We're going to get a lot more aggressive here with the way we're playing. Pagier. Oh, there it is. Come on, baby. Imba Kalma lashes it home. I think there's a lot. I'll be honest, guys. I, I think that there's a lot more to fandom than how many people are in the stands. You know what I mean? How many people are in the stands in... Like... Certain parts of the world is just treated like king, you know? Like, take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, for example. Great example. There's a ton of Bucks fans. All of Tampa, Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans. It's not a national, it's not a national or international team in the NFL, but Tampa's a city, you know, the Tampa Bay area, a couple million people, and the Bucks are the team, you know, everybody loves them. What in the world was that? Sorry. Mashego to Pajie, and then it gets deflected to Malidzi, who heads it into Butelezi. Chaos on the goal line. But the Buccaneers also have the worst win percentage in the history of the NFL, right? So there are some seasons where we're going 2-14 and 14 and the stadium's half empty. doesn't mean less people care about the team. It just means we don't want to go see them play and lose again or give the Glazers money or whatever. All right, like... Oh, come on, Lamuka. I think particularly in, like, England... We, we have a very global chat and a very global community, and I think particularly in England more than any other place in the world, the number of people you have in the stands and the number of people you have on away days in particular, which aren't even a thing in the United States, right? Like, it's too big. Uh, they're, oh, he's off. He's off. That was nice, though. He's very off. Like, the number of fans is just so important, and they're like, oh, you know, like, Wow. They have these great fans. Like, I don't know, maybe that area of the country has more money so more people can do it. Like, I, you shouldn't be... Like, it's freaking expensive. <laughs> oh. Tampa's no Detroit Lions? No, because we have Super Bowls. But I'm not... 
I'm not making it up, though. The Buccaneers have the worst winning percentage in the history of the NFL. We also have two Super Bowls. We're great. We pop up and win, and then we disappear for a decade. It's awesome. Hinch, thank you for the five gifted subs. That goal's for you. Sam Kellogg Lamuka with a beautiful finish to double the lead for Black Leopards FC. Lamuka, fabulous, Satole. Also a line, thank you for the 20 months. I hope the, like, honestly, the Bucks aren't going to win the Super Bowl this year. I hope the Lions win it. I think that'd be fun. I think it would be, it would be similar to watching the Chicago Cubs win the World Series in baseball, where it had been over 100 years since they won it, and it's just like this amazing release of emotion. I think that would be the Lions winning the Super Bowl. Song Winnie, Song Winnie. Oh, my, still Song Winnie, and it falls for some Kello Glomuka. Disaster at gaming. Thank you for the gifted sub, dude. I didn't realize I was gifted. Thank you for making somebody's day. Yeah, if you guys are from, uh, if uh, here's a question for you. If you're not from the United States and you watch NFL, if you don't, that's totally fine. You know, like, but if you do, who's your favorite team? If you're not from the United States and you have an NFL favorite team, who's your favorite team? And why, if you, if you feel like sharing? 49ers, Bills, Packers, Texans, Bengals. Can I tell you, I liked the Bengals when I was a kid because I thought the helmets were sick. Ravens, New England, the Jets, Bills, Rams, the Denver Nuggets. That's NBA, but yeah, I appreciate it. Seahawks, Cardinals, Cowboys. Ooh, the Falcons were division rivals, Kunami? Oh, no. Not in my division. Anybody but the Saints, Falcons, and Panthers is fine with me. I just like seeing the people run into each other. That's fair. Chiefs, a little bandwagon now, but the Chiefs were one of those teams that couldn't win a Super Bowl for a long time. Tampa Bay, Zanguini, thank you. Go Bucks. Baker Mayfield for the win. Oh, we have the numbers. We've got to figure this out, surely. We didn't. Rams, because I like the name Cooper Cup. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Al Clare University sent students to my university, so I'm going with the Packers. The pack for those that don't know, the Green Bay Packers are probably the closest to like a Luton town that American sports has. Because Green Bay is a really small town. The size of the stadium is larger than the population of Green Bay. But the reason they were able to stay in the NFL is the NFL became more commercialized. Nice goal by Sanguini. Goal! Is because the entire state of Wisconsin supported the Green Bay Packers. But I'm a Panthers fan. Oh no, Rico. The, and the Packers also don't have an owner. The Packers are owned by their fans. They're like a German club in the NFL. The, the Packers are owned, I know, because my great-grandparents are from Green Bay, and one of the people in my family is an owner of the Green Bay Packers, one of the, like, 70,000 because they own shares. But there is one share of Green Bay Packers ownership in my family, and they get invited to the meetings every year. It's, a very, it's very cool, and it's very not like most other teams in the United States. Noise! A beautiful 4-0 win out of a match that I was worried we weren't going to get anything out of because, you know, we were struggling. Let's go! Back in the top three! Come on! A couple of wins in a row, and now all of a sudden we're back in those coveted top three spots that can determine promotion. I've been to two Aussie Rules football games, actually. We have some family friends in Australia, and they took us to a Richmond, uh, Richmond game. It was awesome. You guys get like a full meal at halftime. It's wild. Their topic was Zealand doesn't have some extended family member living nearby. My family gets around in case you hadn't noticed. So I, I would be able to say that about Texas. Um, my mom was born in Texas. I have an uncle in Texas. My grandparents lived in Texas for a while. My great aunt and uncle live in Texas. I've got some cousins in Texas. 
Um, Dad was born in Chicago. Whole family on that side is from like the Midwest, like Wisconsin, Illinois. Um, part of the Texas clan moved up to Colorado. So my mom spent part of her childhood in Colorado, like the Aspen Valley area before it was like Aspen. So they've been there forever. They've been there since like the sixties. So I have family in Colorado. I've got family in North Carolina, um, like an uncle, some cousins all over North Carolina, like at least four different places in North Carolina, obviously Tampa where I grew up. Um, in Florida. So, yeah. I don't think uh, that's not entirely unusual in the United States either to have like people from all like bunch of different states and stuff. Yeah, that's not unusual in the United States to have like some sort of tie to somewhere when it when, when, when it's mentioned. So we play in the Kazrik Star. Oh, this is the team we are tied at 21 points with. Ooh, that's a spicy little contest. Got any family in new uh new new what? New New Zealand? No. My parents went to New Zealand and Australia on their honeymoon. That's where the name came from uh comes from. I was born three years later, and they couldn't decide on a name. My dad came up with Zealand. My brother did go to Colorado, yeah. Sco Buffs. Top 10 academies in the world? Oh, that's cool. Man City Youth uh, Setup recognized among the world's best. So City finished number one. Independiente del Valle? Dude, What? Independiente del Valle is nine. It's ahead of Real Madrid's academy. Barca's two, Chelsea's three, Benfica's four, Salzburg is five, Sporting is six, PSG seven, Gank and Independiente del Valle. Three additional star graduates, Pierre, uh, Piero Hincapié, uh, William Pacho and Alan Minda. And they have Moises Caicedo as well. Real Madrid's academy had Ashraf Hakimi and then Danny Parejo, Marcus Llorente, and Paul Paulo Iago. Who's uh, Foden's guy? They've got Rico Lewis, Kieran Trippier, and Cole Palmer. Fair. Barcelona with Balde. Onana? Dude, they're giving Onana to Barcelona like he's one of the four best guys they've got. Why you just toss Gavi in there, really? What are my thoughts on Kendry Baez? Um, I mean, look, anybody telling you how like like whether he's gonna be a world beater or not, I will say it looks very similar to Moises Caicedo, where when he's 16 years old and everybody seems to agree he's already a really good player, and he's in Ecuador, and Chelsea have jumped on him early. Now, where like Manchester United messed up with Moises Caicedo is you might not know this, but Manchester United tried to buy Moises Caicedo from Ecuador, but they asked for $5 million and they were like, ah, it's too much. And then, Bright, you know who paid the $5 million? Brighton. Because, of course, they did. Because they play, they, they're, they're actually playing football manager in real life. They paid the $5 million and then sold him for over $100 million more, right? Like, and I was sitting there at the time screaming on stream like you've got to buy this guy he's been a football manager wonder kid for years clearly everybody agrees that he's going to be at least worth a lot more than five million right like i didn't know he was going to become a 100 million dollar player and obviously that had to depend on a certain todd bully buying a certain club but everybody and their mother knew he was going to be worth more than five million they just, uh, they didn't want to pay that at that time. And, you know, they'd rather spend $100 million on a spinning top. Which, fair play, dude. Okay. I don't have the patience for you breaking today. Five million is too much. Our staff goes ahead and overpays for McGuire and Anthony because we're desperate. Look, McGuire made sense at the time. 
And I don't think McGuire is close to the worst signing they've made. <coughs> Jaden Sancho, right? Like, Jaden Sancho is playing. He's like, he's got a better chance of making their FIFA roster. Their EAFC roster. And I don't look, is, is that entirely his fault? It doesn't matter. That's a huge waste of money. <laughs> I mean, that is a monstrous waste of money to, to go spend that amount of money on somebody that you're just not going to use. You could have bought however many Moises Caicedos with that, but you didn't. I, I, I think that there's a certain part of Manchester United where they feel like they're too good to buy a player like Moises Caicedo, to which my answer would be, they're not, really. You're not. It, it's worth it to buy guys like that. It's always worth it to buy guys like that. Not just because I play football manager for a living, but like just because, you know, logic. If everybody's looking at a guy and they're like, yeah, this guy's good. He's playing for Ecuador. He's 18 years old, right? Like you, you don't even have to judge him against competition in the Ecuadorian league. The dude is playing Brazil and Argentina with the Ecuadorian national team right now. And you can see that he can hang with them and he's 18 years old and he costs $5 million. That's where Brighton's like, yeah, I'll do that. Brighton probably aren't the geniuses everybody thinks they are. They're probably just doing what they're supposed to be doing. Not probably. All right, guys, that's it for today, though. We are going to raid somebody, so stick around for that. We're going to go make somebody's day. Uh, but also, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? I'm not in the decision room. It's not my $5 million that I'm trying to spend. But they clearly are willing to spend money. Why not buy, well, you know, why not make that signing? Sancho is massively hyped up at the time. Yeah, I guess. But he also, like, if you go watch a Sancho mixtape from Dortmund, he's legit. Jaden Sancho, Chris, how good's Christian Pulisic been at AC Milan? Jaden Sancho stole his starting spot. Yeah, like, before Christian Pulisic became an injury magnet, but he seems to have refound himself at AC Milan. All right, we're going to raid somebody, but I really appreciate all of the subs today, guys. We had a batch of gifted subs earlier. Uh, from a bunch of different people, and that always means so much to the channel because even a higher percentage of that comes to us now so we can do things like go to the Faroe Islands. So love you guys. Fist bump. I'm really enjoying the save. We had a huge deadline day. We've had a few hiccups, but we are right in competition for promotion, which would be absolutely awesome. Uh, let's let's find somebody to go raid. Um, all righty. Who's hanging around? Who's vibing around? Let's get a copy pasta together. Yeah. And however good however good you think Pulisic is, Jaden Sancho stole his starting spot at Dortmund. And both were homegrown players at Dortmund, technically. Um let's see if find somebody we've never raided before. Like it. Do, 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 do. All right, I found the target. You guys got your copy pasta ready? I found the target. I found the target, brother. Saddle up. We're riding into battle. All right, this person just started their uh, their their streaming journey. So moderate yourselves. Uh, the uh, the perpetual chat. Don't be weird. Challenge. Right. Moderate yourselves. Ask some good questions. Right. Some penetrating journalistic questions. You know, how'd you get into streaming? How's the save? Um, you know, general stuff. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be here. Same time, same place. Have a good one. Uh, and yeah, I can't wait. Hey, now, tomorrow we might, if there's only, it's only 30 matches in the entire league season. We might really get on a roll here and um, see if we can get to the top of that league. See you guys. Let's go Black Leopards FC. I'm still here. I have to do word of the day. You know why I started doing word of the day?
Because I kept forgetting to actually end the stream after a raid. And so I would um, accidentally play copyrighted music. Audacious. This is not really a problem anymore, but I would like forget to end the stream. A-U-D-A-C-I-O-U-S. Audacious. Audacious is an adjective used to describe people or things that people make or do that are confident and daring or bold and surprising. She made the audacious decision to quit her job. The band has been making original and creative music for well over 10 years, but their latest album is their most audacious to date. It's a good word. We'll see you at the end of another stream for another word of the day.